ships on the moon. This is all gonna or sail, sailboats on the moon. What's up, everybody? We're doing a twenty-four thousand piece puzzle oh. right now in the next twenty minutes. Here and we we're not gonna stop streaming until we finish. One that podcast. Fun. Wow, that's none of that's true. But yeah. welcome to Off Topic. Uh, Someone sent us this in our uh, unboxing. We had a big unboxing, and somebody sent us a puzzle mat, which is big enough for all puzzles except this one. So you're being Michael, but you don't want to sit here. So I'm sat here, but you're Michael. Oh shit! Oh, I mean, I'm oh, no. I'm still oh, Ryan. Shit. I'm just on. I'm doing the things like saying. Oh, it's, it's shut up it's for like, a second. Yeah, yeah. Thanks to MeUndies and Ca uh, Casper mattresses for sponsoring this episode. It's, See, it's, that's the, the only Michael. There we go. Thing it's I've like when now. you go to Whole Foods and you buy economy bags of cereal. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Ryan, you sounded like a pirate during that. Thanks to MeUndies. Thanks to MeUndies. Right. I have a lot to thank me on these four. So I thought it this angle is like... probably just the top of my head. <laughs> <laughs> I, so Jeff opened this this twenty four thousand puzzle box, and I thought it'd be like separate bags, like you do sections at a time. It is separate bags. It's four bags. Okay. With what six thousand pieces each, I guess. I like. So is it actually That's... the shape of a giant puzzle piece too? Oh, like, I didn't even know. Like oh, is it? Box. It's got like a. Oh no! Oh yeah, really? it oh, might God. be. Does that mean cool. does it connect to another one? <laughs> Jesus! Oh no no, these are different ones. These are different. Uh, are what? They? No. no they I think, are I think the these same. images are different. No, no they're not the same. This oh. one starts with the giraffe, ends with the that sailboat. Yeah, see that ends the, the like right so there. Sail Oh no, it is different. It can't fit on it's the same. It's the same picture. It's the same, but these cutouts are, the, are different. Size. Just well, yeah, so those might not actually be there. So yeah, it's a which sack you want. It's a four. Oh god, there's one loose piece in here. Oh god! <laughs> oh, that's not good. That, that means there might be a hole in one of those. Is that a, a starting? Oh, look, here we go. Oh, oh, okay. oh, here we go. Here it is. Here's the whole puzzle. There yeah. you go. Yeah, that's the puzzle. I imagine Whoops. someone, when deciding this puzzle, was like, "What should we do a puzzle of? Uh, everything?" All right. Yeah. All right. There it is. Cool. We need we need Saturn. We need some giraffes. Right. We need and Jack. You might get this. Dolphin. You might get this reference. Uh, no, I don't think anybody else has been around Austin long enough. Back in the '90s, there was a dude was on Sixth Street who would do spray paint art. Yeah. He would have like. Just a piece of like a like a big piece of paper like poster board and he would have like different colors spray can spray cans And he you would sit there and he would spray paint like moons and stuff yeah, he, he, he was, down, do over by, this, he was yeah. down over by what is now that shoe place right yeah. across yeah. from like not coyote ugly But uh, he was there like every Friday and Saturday night know. doing and selling them for like 60 bucks. Well, you know Marcus is doing that like Marcus does that shit now like 60 he's, bucks uh, Not for 60 yeah, bucks. I think but Marcus is gonna be worth more than that. He's uh, he's actually gonna be doing it for extra life So it's kind of cool. Dude, what do you think the watching people are, that do that are so impressive when they like I saw a guy doing it one time. I bought some artwork from him. Like, good pillow. He like put white spray paint on his fingers and like went like Ooh. that, and it was just like stars. Yeah. yeah. I was yeah. just like, all right, cool. Why are you gonna open Please it? Please don't open it. Well, how else are we gonna put the puzzle together? We're not gonna. We're not going, going to. So the puzzle's four meters long, aka around twelve feet. I feel like the audience wants to see us put this together. No. No. Maybe not today. I mean, not, not today. Not in this Maybe situation. Not in this format, but they want. I could start though. Oh my god, that bit's already together. It's wrong, but. It's well, there wrong. you go. All right. Wait, it's, it's wrong, it's but oh well. <laughs> Where's We're, that? Oh, uh, so bring this over. I'm gonna go ahead and open up uh, hashtag off topic. Eh? No, put that back. I'm gonna start. All right, putting it back. Oh god. Oh, you god wanna start on the floor? No, that's fine. Away from the mic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't you do it on the floor? Why don't you do, right do it on the floor? <laughs> gonna, is that where you're gonna Just stand? Roll around. No, I'm gonna stand back in my spot. Oh, and yeah, there it goes. It's open. Genie's out of the bottle now. Bag number one. So for those of you listening, we don't even know if all those pieces go together. Jeff is opening a bag of six thousand puzzle pieces. Boy. That is a lot of puzzle pieces. All right, so all right, so now find all the eggs. So the so, mat is now covered with a pile of loose pieces. <laughs> it's four bags. You said it was twelve feet. It's so a, four bags. It's, that means each one is three feet of puzzle. I don't know if this is like a section of it or if this is just like random bits from probably. All four what? Of it. How horrible would that be? To, It'd be to pretty give fucking it. cruel. Jeb, I think that's part of a clownfish. Just want you to know. There okay. you go. Oh, look, here's another clownfish. Uh, probably, bit. probably Nemo. Jeremy found a clownfish. I mean, how many clownfish? Like, oh, that's not a clownfish. Look at the fish. bottom left over there. <laughs> oh, there's a few clownfish. Oh, so, whore! I think maybe Jeff found the leftmost section. So, anyways, um, yeah, that's what's going on. So, we already Double said that this me, I'll be doing might this not be like the longest episode of Off Topic because we have a lot of shit we want to record today. Thanks for watching, yeah. everybody. Yeah. Zombies. Stay we're tuned gonna for We're going to do Call of Duty Zombies today. We're excited. Yeah, we're not going to be near as good uh, as everyone else. Maybe. Seem doing. So, I. But, 
So I, I, I got a code for the game, installed it, had it installed last week. I opened it today and it said, uh, you can't play this game, it's too soon. It's like, but it's it your came out Xbox today. sets the wrong time zone. What the hell do you do? Ryan! This is, is so pieces? satisfying. It does look I very satisfying. You a, should try this. Such a disruptor. Feel okay. this with your hands. Yeah, so it you looks great. You can just play on my account. This is way better way to anymore? experience this. I assume it would. Because I, I uninstalled it, reinstalled it, redownloaded 50 something gigs, still doesn't work. It might be my Ooh, least favorite. It's got that new puzzle smell. Mm -hmm. yeah. Least favorite game is the type of zombies. Really? Why? I love zombies. I just don't like it. <laughs> you don't like zombies? I'm no good. And I just don't find it. It's like, I can't even make it fun for me. Really? Can I be honest with you? I kind of feel the same way. I'll yeah. play, I play it, I'll play it. I'm all about playing whatever, because I'm a, I'm a, I Champ. play games for a living. Team player. But I personally, like in my personal life, I would never play it. Yeah. I, I, I don't I, even like watching I it. I liked the very first one in World of War. But I, I just never. World War was a lot of fun. I enjoy it up to a certain point. Oh, hey, there's our <laughs> handles if you're hey. watching. Hey, here's an edge piece for you, Jeff. I, 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 I enjoy it up to a certain point. I see people play and they're like on round 99, mm -hmm. and I'm like, that looks like hell. <laughs> like at that point where you. It is hard to ex imagine that much time. Like you're doing the same thing, quick. you know. Well, that's the the thing is now the like probably the last four or five zombies they've had a story whereas there's mm -hmm. actually like stuff you can do and you can beat zombies. And like that's that's what I'm into. I've never I like we did a little bit with Noah J when he came uh, like, like 2 years ago. And uh but I've started messing with it now and I'm actually kind of I've been watching his videos, watching his his streams and when he's uh, solving the easter eggs and I really really like it. As a matter of fact, he might be on right now. You should probably be watching him instead. We of checked. Us. Here's another edge piece for he you. He wasn't on uh, right before we came over. I like He it. did a stream last That's night. That's space. It? So. Yeah, yeah. Uh well, he, <laughs> yeah, first beat. No. 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 <laughs> I uh I like that I went to search my uh, my Twitter stuff. Mm -hmm. so the, la the last Twitter search I had was at Dippin' Dots. <laughs> yeah, you sent me something about Dippin' Dots. Di Dippin' Dots sent us three gallons of Dippin' Dots for Extra Life. Or someone wow. did. I assume it's someone from Dippin' Dots. I bet it was fucking Sean Spicer. You think so? Sean Spicer Dude, hates Dippin' Dots. Dippin Dots. So, I don't know, so if you, no, if you would hit no the one complains that much about Dippin' Dots. Dots. If you're Dippin' Dots, thank you very much for sending the Dippin' Dots. It was, like, there was no note with it or anything. It looked like it came from <gasps> Dippin' Dots. I got first piece! You hey, did. That's, that's right. one that's, right there. That's, that's yeah, I feel like Sean stop. Spicer is like uh, it's like the when the the girls chase the boys around the playground when they're kids. It's like the it's because they like them, right? Oh, oh I see what you're saying. Yeah. I thought I was like, why is Sean Spicer that. chasing girls around the playground? Yeah. Well, I mean that scandal hasn't come out yet. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, any day now at this point, he can just get thrown in the batch. Yeah, allegedly. Them. Yeah, allegedly. Um, it's so far, not even allegedly for that one. To Ryan be fair to Sean Spicer. That Sean Spicer is some sort of a pedophile. Uh, I found a very. I'm just waiting for him to admit that he's living openly as a gay man. I found a spicy. Uh, <laughs> Why do you want him to admit that? I, that's the that's Kevin Spacey. Uh, yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Takes a. <laughs> you got Jeff. Oh, He's too hard to get scandal. Let's just not. Oh, that's good. Um. So anyway, someone in the um, hashtag off topic age, they asked a question that we were actually just talking about before we came over here. Oh. They said, uh, "What's the next Get Good series?" Ooh. That's what they asked, and we actually don't know yet. Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> there, there's still one more episode of. PUBG get good. Yes. That you have not seen. And um, and then we're probably gonna move on to another game and we not to imply that anything good happens in that, but I we're mean, probably we gonna move on to up. another game. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good question. So we were discussing, we've been having kind of a discussion for the last few days about what the next get good is. We did, you know, we've, we're nearing the end of I'll, Angry like, Birds. No, I already got good at that. We're nearing the end of uh PUBG. Gym we did war. a we did a check-in yesterday to see that's good. To see if we were still good at Siege. See, I, yeah. I, th I thought check-in um, check was going to be a ranked game. Yeah, well, okay, here's we the thing. I think, we're, I think we're saving ranked games for its own series while we yeah. get no. our Oh, really? Yeah, okay. Someone so. raised a really interesting point about that, too. They said that uh, you may have, we may have had more challenge playing casual than ranked because yeah. we were playing basically like bargain basement. Also, the people who have never played ranked. Yes. Yeah. Uh, in our first ranked match, which is uh, which probably is probably accurate. Yeah. yeah. But they do take longer. The matches take longer because it's it's first to Jeff had four. to go first to four, and you have to be ahead by two. Yeah, right? you have to win by two. Um, so that can go on. Like for I've a while. had, I've had, I've had uh, ranked matches at home take like an hour. Yeah. I would say we just we, didn't have an hour. If we weren't already so damn good at Last of Us, that would be a good series to get good. Boy, yeah, so damn good at it. So you guys the, were going to Last of Us. Like yeah. we were having this conversation in the office Twice. this morning. Like, hey, it's getting close to time. We need to figure out what this game is. So we thought, what if we pose it to the audience and say, hey, what do you guys want to see us play first? I will say a lot. Some people have recommended we play a sports game like FIFA or hockey or something, which I'm all about. I feel like we need to do another shooter first to cement like. 
I don't know. I just feel like shooters wanna... work. They but work. It... They will, and then we'll then we'll branch out the next time. So the <laughs> fourth like... one will be high, probably so yeah. honestly the fourth one will probably be FIFA. So what's our third one? Is it Call of Duty World War Two? Is it Ghost Recon? Uh, is it I like fucking this. Cricket? Cricket and Clover on Twitter said, "Get good Monopoly." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, <but laughs> we've got uh, plans for Monopoly. So if you have suggestions, no. uh, you can tweet them. Tweet out your suggestions. We can put like a hashtag on it. How about like yeah. AH get oh. good? Get good Sky Factory Challenge mode. And that's a thing that Well, Ryan that was, was something about. we've already talked about. That might just we'll be probably, that might, yeah. just, that might just be its own Minecraft. Mode. That's probably the next Minecraft. Oh, yeah. I know was, something I want to talk to you guys about. Yeah, what you got? Uh speaking of Sky Factory. Let's speak. So of Sky I was Factory. talking to uh Larold the other day. The Lord uh, and, uh, and he he was like, okay. <laughs> we've we, never said it actually. <laughs> uh Larry. <laughs> so he said we are about four episodes away. Good singer, that. right now. From from the next installment of Fishing Jamboree. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> that one came around really quick. Yeah, it yeah, comes yeah. around fast. So he it's said, year. "Would it be possible?" We also did it late to last year. Build floating ponds in my, in Sky yeah. Factory. Yeah, and, and we could fish. Into these floating ponds. Are we just doing everything we can there. to yeah. never set foot in the Chima City ever again? Kind of. We're well, giving it time to, to work. Let's yeah. we'll, we'll slowly rebuild the Chima City in Sky Factory. Gavin, here's right. a conversation <laughs> that I started having earlier in the week, or last week. Um, I don't know if he's, oh. we're, uh, we're not too far from episode oh. 300. And the last two times we did it, we did the like, yeah, it's been like scavenger hunt type thing so. revisits. I don't think we'll do that this time well, because we've been all over the map. done anything. We've barely been to a Chima City recently. Well, yeah, and I mean, a lot of, like we would just have to visit different mods and stuff. So we need to figure out a cool thing to do for episode three hundred. We need some. Uh, we gotta start doing some. We need to go to a bar and probably bar in Budapest, Budapest, yeah, and figure it out. Like the opposite it's of Wheaties, you'll get diabetes experience. on your feeties. <laughs> <laughs> that might have been <laughs> funny coming up with that. Experience. That might have been the most creative <laughs> and the most fun I've ever had. <laughs> that, I that, that was amazing. Story. I remember we were both writing them so we could then pull them together and pick. Yeah, the we best didn't want we didn't want to share with each other because we didn't want to influence. And each I other. was really proud of my cakewalk one. I thought it was quite clever. At the yeah, time. I don't remember what it was. It probably wasn't. But then Jeff had that one, I was like, mine sucks. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get diabetes on your feeties. <laughs> so awesome. Uh, someone said, do you get good Destiny PvP? <clears throat> uh, but uh, sorry, we, we'd like to keep it to uh, good games. So. Ooh. Oh! Why are you not Destiny? Destiny's good. I like Destiny. Yeah, PvP is Fucking hate the PvP. Really PvP it's so dog. I, um, I didn't even touch Destiny. It's too. real dog. Uh, Fortnite Battle Royale. Says Lissa. Nah, I don't. I don't know. It's very similar. To, I feel like we've yeah. already done that. Here's what I, all I've seen with Fortnite: uh, the battlefield thing. Or whatever, yeah, battle, royale. battle royale. Battle royale. If you get a sniper, What's you're that? in great shape. Yeah. yeah. Everyone I've seen win that thing has a sniper. What about Battlefield One? <clears throat> dun 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 dun. dun. Uh, because a field one. damn good game. Yeah. It is, yeah. um, and it's very hard to get good at. Very slow. Yes. Road. Here's so with get good series. What we're concerned about is we want to make sure the series isn't just get good at shooters. Like like you get good because you can aim well. Right. We yeah, want, see, it has to have a strategy. Siege worked because there are different classes and and we had to work well picking, as a team. Picking different classes, you can. I mean, six. Is I mean, like the Battlefield works better than like Call of Duty. It does. Yeah. The yeah, downside to Battlefield though don't, is we don't know. There's objective modes in Call of Duty that we could pick, and then there are classes, Maybe. there are squads. So the, the, down, of, the downside of, of something like Battlefield is we can't necessarily win the game. Just as a squad. Oh, it's true. That's yeah. true. Like we can influence but the battle. But we can be at the won't. top of the leaderboards. We can. Yeah, it doesn't really. I, I, Ryan's got a point. There are smaller game types. There's there are. Like there six, are. That's I think there are there squad game types too. Like six v. I feel like whatever it is, it has to be either four, five, or six v. Six. If there's a six v. Six, then yeah, absolutely, we could do something. Or we could just. I mean, otherwise, we could do three v. Three, and we could just fucking play. Threes mode in hockey, which has not come out yet, but we've already done three Let's Plays in, Ryan, Jeremy, and I, and uh, it is maybe the dumbest, fucking most ridiculous, like, fun we've had in a while. I'm still sad that we haven't figured out how to fight anybody in it. But, we have not fought yet. Um, <laughs> but god damn it, have we so had fought. Have the, I, so when that comes out, please watch it so you can keep making yeah, more Yeah, we want to, there's, like there's like a mode called threes mode, where it's you know three players versus AI. Oh, nice. And right. you basically so, do a campaign, and in the first campaign we have to play like 32 matches. Yeah. Each Let's Play has matches. been two matches, I think. At most. At most. And uh, it depends it's, on if we lose. Before. If you would just watch <laughs> it, so that we can keep playing it, it might be the most I've laughed 
at work in a very long time. The weird yeah. thing about that mode is uh, there's a coin toss at the beginning. <laughs> it's very weird. And if you lose the coin toss, the CPU picks the parameters of the game. The game settings. <laughs> like yeah. The, yeah. how long the period like is. Like the win conditions. Points. Yeah. Like the I CPU mean, it, just picks it. It can pick, like, it can turn it into, instead of a, a uh, like a normal periods type thing where there's three periods and the highest score wins, it can make it to, so there's a goal limit and you just play until that goal limit is hit. And it can turn on a money puck, which is like a puck that has a rotating value. So it's like rock and jock hockey. It's like if you get it in, yeah. you get three points. Or you, you get it in, the other team You could also two lose points. points. Yeah. yeah, it's fucking, it's so weird. Um, I, uh, I like this. It's too much. So Dan, Dan Lee. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I like yeah. I'm there done now. <laughs> Dan Lee on Twitter has a good idea. I don't think we could do it though. Age, get good rock band. I just read that. I yeah, thought that was like, very oh, interesting. Don't, 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 don't oh, do please you. don't, please don't. Don't be you. Put it down. Don't be you. Gonna take well, you just hold it up. Are you going to one-hand it down? <laughs> so like a that's, yeah, that would not never not. happen. You know well, that. we got to find out now. <laughs> All right. No, no, hold no, on. we got to no, find out if it's no, going to work. No, no, no. no, no right. You don't have to pick it up. Broadcast will do it. Come on. No, 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 because they'll, they'll lose pieces. <laughs> Broadcast will do it. Oh, I want to see if it works. I would actually, I would legit like to make this puzzle. I want to put this puzzle together. I just need to figure out how to do it. Why, why, Where, what's with the puzzles? So we put the achievement hunter puzzle together, and then people have started. You know, it's nope. like the no, no, like, no one, no one came forward. And was like, I love the puzzle thing. It was Jeff true. had fun. Yeah, <laughs> it's like how everybody wants us to use Febreze now. No, nope. right? It's that exact. It's the exact same thing. Oh, that that uh, skin against this material. It's not great. You. <laughs> Jeff! <laughs> Alright, now let's see if it'll work. Uh, excuse Fucking me, Jeff, watch your foot. So, those of Damn you yeah, watching, would have been bad. those of you listening at home, Jeff just put about, I would say, 5,500 pieces into the box and then dropped the box. That's the mess. Yep. There it God is. damn it. <laughs> I just heard broadcast go, oh. <laughs> Jeff! You son of a bitch. I was trying! There's a couple under me. Ooh, yep. he's trying! There's a couple everywhere. Let's get them God all! Well, damn it. You know, we used to make a, an audio friendly podcast. Let's we, just save it for the end. Have we talked about what we were just doing? Have you talked about the first version of that? Of what? The thing we were just recording before this? Oh, no. No, I mean. Because that just happened yesterday. I, the thing is, I want to talk about it. It's going to spoil. It's spoiling a future roulette play, like the game that oh, yeah, yeah. the game. Yeah, so right. we know, yeah. you know that. Last of Gus is the next. They, everyone knows Last of Gus Roulette is coming, right. yeah, which is why it took we so long to come out. It'll, it's it's coming finally out. coming the out. The one after that was fantastic. It was a game that everyone was excited to play. And then the one after that was a complete, like, what? And that's all I'll say. <laughs> that's a tease. No, all right, so the, the thing that came up, um, we enjoyed it so much playing it in Roulette's Play that we've, we're actually currently recording a new Let's Play. <laughs> Jeff is under the table. <laughs> Cleaning up thousands of puzzle pieces. I'm literally, literally thousands of puzzle thousands pieces. Among the of knees puzzle. and the dicks, Jeff Ramsey. <laughs> cleaning the puzzle. My favorite album. Oh my god, so I was walking down um, as the little drink machine. Speaking in, of knees and dicks. In soundcheck. Hey, and I had shoulders, a, knees, and dicks. I had a little, um, I had a fart brewing, which is rare for me. Don't, I'm not a big farter. I'm definitely not a loud farter. Uh -huh. Yeah. But I was walking along, I was like, I've got one brewing. And I was just walking past the water thing. And I, I let it go, and it bubbled at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> so that the water cooler caught wind of your yeah. wind? It, 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 it had a sympathy well. part. Do you have a very part loose part. butthole? <laughs> no. Your farts are so quiet, I feel like there's no... It's because Meg spends so much time in it. It's just... Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> From under the table. <laughs> Sorry, what? Yeah. Fucking no, table it's, genius. Uh, it's just there's not much excess gas brewing. You don't got a lot in there? You should drink some, like... I haven't heard myself fart in like six months. Really? You should yeah. drink a fuck ton of ginger ale. Is it like a notable oh, thing when and you beans, do? And beans, and eat beans, and then just go for it. Yeah, usually it's like, no. I've, I've eaten some of it. Do that on Extra Life. I mean, do you do <laughs> The loudest Gavin fart we I can I feel get. like you should mark it on a fart journal or Is something. It's like, yet? oh, I heard that one. Oh, I should start a fart yeah. journal. We, we should all start fart journals and compare. We should start fart Jeff's journals. Jeff's fart journal will be like this thing. Oh, yeah. mine will be up there too. You know, I don't fart as much now that I don't drink. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, I still fart, don't get me wrong. I had bad farts last night. <laughs> got a bit of the food poisoning last night. There's gonna be one goddamn night. piece I missing. Think got him. I think I got There's him. gonna be one goddamn piece missing. Hey, broadcast, we're gonna, we're gonna make a 12 If you see one puzzle. broadcast, just put it in the thing. Keep an eye out for a puzzle piece yeah. if you see one or two. Uh, but I think I got it all. But yeah, last night, uh, got a little bit of the food poisoning. Oh yeah? Oh. Yeah. I'm surprised so, you're in today. I was eating, uh, I have a place I was gonna get Thai food a lot. Oh. I always get the yellow curry, really like it, delicious. 
Um, and I saw they had mussels on the menu. Uh oh. Love mussels. It's, like it's like my They'll favorite food. Are they in the shell? Or are they? They were in the half shell, like half sitting shell. there. But they were they were all steamed, so they were all cooked and everything. But they're also green mussels, which are like the normal ones, like the black mussels, except the green mussels like that big, and the mussel inside is like three times as big. Is it green? I've never. No, seen the shell green is green. Oh. The, the outside of the shell is like black, and it fades to green. Interesting. I've never seen that. And the mussels uh. on the inside look the same, except they're like that big. And so you can really I just wolf them down like just, they tasted so good like I just love steamed mussels And then I ate a bunch of curry And I was sitting with cat we were talking about some extra life stuff. You think of mussels in Thai food. Yeah Well, it was like they had certain spices yeah, like, on yeah, it. Yeah, really good. Curry. yeah, it's like prawns and shit are always in curry But mussels? Yeah, why same, not? Same sort of region and um, well, no. I guess maybe. maybe <laughs> well, green yeah, sure. Mussels. I'm sure mussels are in Thailand. I've never, never heard of a green mussel, so maybe so. But uh, yeah, as I was sitting there with Kat, I was like feeling fun, feeling fun, playing Assassin's Creed, talking to her and everything. And all of a sudden, my body just like shut down. Like I couldn't focus or anything. I got really lightheaded and super nauseous. And I just looked at Kat and went, "I'm gonna sleep upstairs tonight. Uh, I'm gonna go take a shower and." Definitely gonna vomit and she was like, <laughs> okay, and I went upstairs and it was just like Oh, uh, there was so much and like the curry was not great <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> Muscles, yeah, not a, a good thing to curry. vomit up. I wouldn't think. Oh, no, it was horrific. It was terrible You go to the place yeah. you go to the place in front of the H-E-B? I don't actually know where it is. I've only like you only it is it yeah. the spice place whatever No, it doesn't right. have spice in the name. Is it Thai? How are you? No, but that's a great uh, name for one. That's, we, where, I we have a place that's where I get my us. Thai food from. We have a pho place near us. It's called fucking Vietnamese. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. fucking. Yeah, I love fucking. Yeah, the fucking Vietnamese place. You just go in there. I drove by that every day, and I, yeah, I, when I used to live up in that area. Oh, it's worth it. Hop in, grab some fucking noodles. It's great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've, never, I've never done Uber Eats, but I did. I did. You can Uber Eats McDonald's. You can. Yeah, that's what yeah. Was, that's what someone told me. That's the same as favor. I feel like that's yeah, the that's end of society. Yeah, that's a bad I thing. I, yeah. so much. I just don't need a McDonald's showing up no. at my house without me putting any. Like Dude. at least the effort of going to McDonald's might work off something. If, if you're gonna, if you're gonna sat there like this and then it's like, <laughs> shows up, I'm just like, <laughs> well, it's true too because it's like if you're gonna have somebody deliver food to you, just have them deliver real food. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah like rather than McDonald's. Yeah, McRib's coming back. You oh, keep yeah? saying that, but no one knows when this McRib is going to service. I've never, still never eaten a McRib. What? Really? They're not bad, dude. I've never had one. Yet. We will Uber Eats McRibs to a podcast. They're not bad if you forget. I've never, I've never what had it a is. McRib before. All right. Isn't Uber a shitty company though, and we shouldn't be using it? That's what they say. I think all companies. What's are wrong with Uber now? now? Some um, uh, like real misogynistic. The former CEO. Really? He's, he's, he's now stepped down by the former. Yeah, CEO. he's not. He's, he's stepped said. down, but he stepped down in a way where they like he still like runs the board, so he's still really <laughs> in charge. Just not a name. So he's like yeah. the you use Lyft, right? Easy. You and Michael just said I you use, use Lyft I all use the Lyft. time. Lyft. I've never used Lyft. It's the same as Uber. All right, then I'll use Lyft. <laughs> if it's the yeah. same, fuck it. Pretty much, yeah. They've they've got colorized little things that go in the window, though, so you can tell if it's your Lyft oh. because the color matches the one in the app. Ooh, nice. Do you often use Lyft? No. <laughs> I actually, I still use Uber or whatever. Is that, I'll use whatever's available. Yeah, put me in well, a Lyft car and take me wherever. If you hate women, no. just don't tell me. Most about places. It. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just. <laughs> 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 uh, it's ignorance. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy. So, yeah, I don't know what's going on in my own little. My own little bubble. I'm happy in here. Look, there's probably been a lot of terrible people that have done some service for you in the past. Do you really want to know the ins and outs of every one of them? Nope. Sure. McRib November the, 6th. The guy I mean, that's... I, I was already looking it up. Are you still going to watch any movie produced by Harvey Weinstein over the last 30 years, or are you going to boycott all those? I don't know his movies, what they? That's a good point. point. Every movie everything, you've ever seen. Fucking, yeah, everything the Weinstein company made. Every, every fucking Miramax yeah, film every, ever made. Miramax. Every like, Quentin Tarantino movie ever made. Most things Brad Pitt's done. Everything. No more House of Cards. Kevin Smith. No more Kyle, yeah, no more House of Cards. Mm. It sucks. I mean, you could. I, I encourage you to do it if you. Yeah. If you want it. I do. I, it sucks I how many my, sucky uh, people are out there sucking. I've yeah. gotten my boycott on just. I'm not, not like preaching it, but I've just like switched services. If I have a choice of two services, yeah. I've, I've got my boycott on. I don't need a Chick Fil A. <laughs> I don't need a Chick Fil A. Yeah. I'm gonna get my boycott on. <laughs> I don't need a Chick Fil A, and I don't go to Hobby Lobby unless I really have to go to Hobby Lobby. <laughs> <laughs> unless, unless it's Sunday and Millie's report is due Monday and Michael's is closed, and I don't have a choice. Is yeah. True and Kathy still alive? That's Who? the guy's name, right? The Chick Fil A guy. He died. Oh, okay. So yeah, he's then, dead. Well, also, the that's also, that's also franchise. Well, also, yeah, the franchise. It's also yeah, franchise. Could be, so it's, it's yeah. actually. Yeah. It's just they they have to shut down on Sunday as part of the franchise I don't like deal. That. But other than that, it's like yeah, they, yeah. like <laughs> when, the, when the whole they hate gays thing came out, uh, the local franchise near me at the time had like a 
a whole like gay pride day. That was awesome. Yeah. That was really good. Oh, that's cool. You should support that. Yeah. yeah. And I kept eating there, so. <laughs> <laughs> but it made me feel better. Yeah, I was just like nice and. <laughs> nice I only that. eat gay prepared food. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's, the it's the best. It's the, it's the if best. If it comes out, does, no. does it have to have a sticker on it, or do you send it back if it's like? No, it's like it's like you can, just, like, you can just smell it. It's like kosher, you know. Okay. <laughs> USD gay. I had my cousin approve everything. Uh -huh. USD gay is very funny. <laughs> that, I don't want that to have been missed. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a great one. Way to slide uh, it in there. Uh, Hmm. I've really gotten into watching our Let's Plays recently. I thought you were going to say gay porn. <laughs> <laughs> but stuff like Sky Factory, I'll just slop it on because there's so many jokes I miss in the moment. Oh, it's like, yeah. As someone who's in the Let's Play, I feel like I'm in the least least good position to like take in the comedy. Most I think that's just like a part of it. Oh. I've, I've trained myself over the years, actually through Drunk Tank. To like move on if a joke doesn't land or it doesn't get hit because you can, there's no way to crowbar back in and have yeah. yourself look good in the process. There, I'd say probably like half of the jokes that make me laugh in my head that yeah. I say in a let's play totally get like Michael screaming or whatever. <laughs> yeah. So nobody yeah. ever hears them. I'm like, that would have been funny. You yeah, got the funny one. And like, sometimes you'll say that out loud. Yeah. You'll make your joke. Yeah. And you'll be like, that was a good one, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I will come or you'll myself. go, funniest joke I made all. I mean, that's not, I look like the five percenters. Those are my absolute favorite jokes. The ones that like no one will get except that one guy who's like, holy shit, that's awesome. Well, like, that, I mean, that you that and Jeff are like the back and forth on that so much yeah. that Jeff will make a joke that no one understands and you'll laugh. <laughs> you'll I got, go, I got thanks, Jack. I got into a musical kick the other like a couple weeks ago, where it's like I kept bringing up musical stuff during during let's plays. For some reason, and uh, and yeah, and now we're doing uh, Achievement Hunter the Musical as a, as an extra as a stretch goal. Dude, yeah, I wish we had been filming Gavin's enthusiasm this morning when you told him. About I asked. It. I asked, was a lot of. So out, right. out of the six of us, <laughs> Gavin was in, Gavin was out of, out of town. So I asked everyone except for Gavin, like, would you would you be up for Achievement Hunter the Musical if we were gonna do it? And everyone said yes. Jeremy was like, "Fuck yeah!" Jeff's like, "That sounds awesome." Ryan said, "Okay." I'm all in. Michael was like, okay. Michael's like, okay. And I was like, all right, cool. That's that's a good enough consensus. Like, I would ask Gavin, but it's like, like, hopefully we'll get something good out of Gavin. And then today you were like, huh, all right. Yeah, you asked me, I was like, yeah, yeah that's describe that what that means, though. What's <laughs> well, that? No, you. you okay, what so, do you mean by achievement? Achievement yeah, yeah. Hunter the musical. He, so, oh, yeah, we well, sang the songs well, in the room this morning. Yeah, we did. Well, we, 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 yeah, we did come up with some songs. We, we, there, there's there's, there's already not come up with songs. You come up with titles for songs. We, we have two yeah. songs. Yeah, we started it. We have two titles for <laughs> songs. Jeremy's writing the whole thing. And okay, so we should get the JT Music guys in it. Yes. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. We should absolutely, absolutely get them. in. You know they're JT Music now, not JT Machine. Oh, really? They made a change. Which I think is very smart move. Um, so we'll talk about Extra Life in a little bit, but the the Extra Life stretch goal for a million dollars. For Achievement Hunter, is if we hit that number, we're gonna release Achievement Hunter the Musical, which will be a let's play, a normal let's play, except all of the talking will be done in musical form. So think of Scrubs the Musical. Have you ever seen that? If you watch Scrubs the Musical, that's what I'm thinking the whole time. So it's literally. I always a, think of Buffy. Yeah, yeah. It's, but yeah. it'll be a multi-song <laughs> let's play. Once more with feeling. Which will be which probably I don't know I don't know what the game will be recorded. I have some ideas a game will be recorded in, but it'll be a let's play that's an actual let's play except we'll be singing instead of playing. Is it because someone has a brain tumor? Yes. <laughs> then you wake up at the end and Dr. Cox just yells at you. Um, yeah. So anyway, I'm very excited for it. Yeah. I, I, I think I think I'll probably direct it. Jeremy will probably have the lion's share of the music stuff, and we'll get the JT music guys to help out too. But, I mean, if they're available. If they're available. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, 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 but you're not roped into this. Yeah. 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 But, uh, We've had no oh, conversations with them about it at all. This. Speaking of JT, speaking of JT music and Let's Play Family stuff, I. Uh, I'm just gonna do this just to annoy Lewis, <laughs> but we're announcing new Let's Play partners next week. Oh, cool! And he's got like a whole thing. He's like had me proof his journal and stuff. And that's yeah. it. But now I'm I'm, I'm undercutting and letting people know what's happening. I'm not gonna say who it is. <laughs> but okay, real quick before we get too far away from it. So the two songs we've come up with so far that I've come up so, so far are uh, the sinking song, the sinking which, song. which will be the very first one. Which is that before we start playing, we do like one, two, three, one, two. So the sinking song and the first real song will be "What Are We Doing, Jeff?" Which I'm excited <laughs> about that. That's my favorite thing. <laughs> so. <laughs> Song, what are we doing? Have you got any uh, inspiring music titles? So, go for it. Let yeah. us know. Um, should well, I say what be should, the Let's Stop should, song at the end? Oh, yeah. Let's Stop. Let's Stop, is let's like stop would be the big crescendo, which yeah. ends like all of us. <laughs> and then Let's Stop. And then, anyway. I, I'm legit excited about this. I think this will be a lot of fun. You've already said the. the Goal, right? That we have to get to. It's a million dollars. Million. Yeah. So that's the million dollars. So if we cross a million dollars during our extra life stream, we will. Oh well. We, we, we all thought we will about produce it. Achievement when you told Gavin <laughs> what the goal was, he very quietly at his desk went, "I mean, it could have been two million. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was like, because I could see the unenthusiasm in Gavin, and uh, and I was like. 
yeah, but it's like a million dollars. And he goes, yeah, we'll hit that. <laughs> Two million. Um, do it. Yeah, I, actual I life, dude. Be awesome. Next week. Well, Extra Life tomorrow. What if we only made like a Extra Life is tomorrow. Is the Extra Life tomorrow? Then that would be very community. Community. Yeah, the community, yeah, community streams tomorrow. Hey, should should we talk about Extra Life now that we've kind of got into it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Right, so, Let's hit it now. So Extra Life, we're kicking off, this is Extra Life season, so starting tomorrow at 8 a.m. Central, we are doing our community stream. Tomorrow so, if you're watching the live broadcast. Yeah, so if you go to roosterteeth.com slash Extra Life, it'll take you to the correct page, and we are doing 25 different community groups. Rooster Teeth community groups are streaming, and we're going to be redirecting our broadcast, kind of pointing a, like a spot Spotlight at the different. Uh, you like my gloves? Someone said that to us in the unboxing. Uh, we're going to be pointing our spotlight at different community groups uh, that are raising money for their local charities. Not so, like, uh, yeah. like there's a whole bunch of different ones out there. We're going to be. We'll, we'll cut. We'll be here in the office, and we'll be like, "Hey, we're Brewster Teeth. Thanks for watching. Okay, let's here. go to. Yeah, I'll be here. <laughs> but like, uh, let's go to you know Canada, and then we'll go to RT Canada. And let's go to uh, I don't know, like, like all these different groups. So we'll go to all these different ones. They're raising money for the local charities. Please support them if you can. Then next weekend, November 11th and 12th. Is the big Rooster Teeth stream from 8 a.m. Uh, 8 a.m. Saturday morning until 8 a.m. Sunday morning? We are trying to raise one million dollars during 24 hours, or have over a million dollars after 24 hours, and uh, and yeah, and things are going really well so far. We have some uh, really really kick-ass exclusive merchandise that you can only buy during the streams. Um, we actually have I don't do we have the images ready to go for uh, the things? So tomorrow, are they the ones I made? Yes. Yeah. Tomorrow the community stream, you can buy the T-shirts. <laughs> And the uh, For the Kids pin, which is a single For the Kids pin, mm -hmm. which is super kick-ass, and the proceeds from sales of that go to the Rooster donation. There's our pins, and so these are all of the pins there. So we have the For oh, the Kids one on the far left. we got the White Power one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there it that's is. That's a whole thing. There it is. So we have the one, the For the Kids pin, that's a single pin on the left, and then the set of four of the gym badges is on the right. The For the Kids pin will be on sale tomorrow. The uh, the gym badges will be on sale on the, the on the November 11th ones. The November 11th stream. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah, so that's that's that. And then we have our T-shirts, so like which will be available both weekends. <laughs> so uh, this 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 stuff available tomorrow. So that's the for the kids pin and the shirt. And then the next weekend we'll have the shirts, the set of pins, and the poster. So dude, that's awesome. Yeah. The poster's the coolest yeah, the, fucking thing. The poster is. Look at the poster, dude. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. So that'll be available. That's all the stuff available next weekend. And I think uh, we have one big image or a larger image of the poster. There you go. So Rooster Teeth Land poster. It's fucking cool. And uh, yeah, so some people said it's a little it's a little hard to distinguish, uh, like on the smaller image of kind of like what the what the lands are. But there's definitely like sections. There's like live action land, animation land, achievement uh, city. I think. Yeah, there's like, there's like achievement area, Funhouse Cove, Rooster Street, Rooster Street. There's an animation land. There's a whole camp camp. There's a bit giant laser team boot. Yep. Yeah, laser team boot. There's a there's a, a big ass uh, slow mo guys balloon in there too. So. Man. Uh, Easter egg, Steven Suptic's car is in one of those lakes. <laughs> God damn. It's in, it's in there with his hair and his dignity. Yeah, you can't yeah. see it, but it's there. Yeah. <laughs> But there's there's tons of tons of crazy Easter eggs in there, and uh, once you see the full poster, you'll you'll lose your mind. For I'm so excited about I, the yeah, poster. I gotta say, uh, Rusty is about to turn 15 years old. Yes, and I have uh, well, I'm, I made it. I made it with Bernie mm -hmm. and Gus and Matt and, and the whole thing, and uh, I've uh, seen us go through many lives and many progressions. We consider ourselves to be in like our fourth act, is what uh, Bernie and Gus and I refer to it as sometimes. And uh, the thing that blows me away. Uh, more than anything else on a day-to-day -day basis has got to be as we've grown and people you know say like well we suck now we, we always suck well we've right. been selling out for 15 years oh, yeah. suck for every years. every yeah. every ladder on every rung on the ladder we climb we suck more in some way uh, even though we're just assholes making videos just like we've always been we're just a little bit older and uh, some some of Bernie and Gus are fatter uh, I, I look great Matt looks great um, <laughs> but uh the thing that on a, like a day-to-day -day basis when I go to work that I'm like, oh fuck, I'm so happy that we grew to this level more than anything is merch. Yeah, because merch is stuff awesome. Stuff like that. Yeah. The fact that we've been able to hire talented people, like it started back when like like with John Reisinger, honestly. Yeah, oh, yeah. Credit where credit is due to John Reisinger. Absolutely. Matt and I made all the merchandise before John Reisinger showed up. We were the graphic designers, and Matt was way better than I was. I was, an, 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 I was a necessary evil. And then we had Matt, who was talented. And then we had John Risinger. And then we had guys like Patrick Schmidt. And, and now then we have you guys like sucked all the talent out of Risinger and threw him on to, on the spot. Yeah. Now we have guys like Tony and Tobin and like all these crazy artists that we. Patrick have. Rodriguez, you mean? You said Patrick Schmidt. Patrick Schmidt was he was a graphic. He's the guy that designed the Let's Play logo. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. He didn't oh, work sorry. anymore. But he, oh, okay. He, yeah, we we referred to him as John's Patrick for a while. Oh yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Little Patrick. Little Patrick. Yeah. 
He, you would always see him riding his bicycle, yeah, yeah. looking like he's Sorry, I, I thought, I thought and you now were, he's not. I thought you were um, doing a chronological thing. But just like on a day to day, like we've already we've gotten so good because merchandise is such a big part of our business that we have just gone through an approvals process where we have planned out all of the Chima Hunter merchandise for Q1 of 2018. You guys have seen a lot of it and provided input, mm -hmm. but it's been such a fun process between doing that and the the Jeff merchandise. And um, like we're doing a lightning round shirt right now. I probably mm -hmm. shouldn't talk about it because we haven't done any designs for it yet. But we decided <laughs> to make a lightning round shirt because based on people kind of catch caught on. Yeah. The yeah. Lightning round thing. But like just looking back and seeing like I, that, that is science. Like that's science fiction to me. Yeah. Never in my in a million years that I think we'd be at a point where we'd have people on staff who could design stuff. Well, that the, the crazy thing about this was I literally bumped into John Reisinger in the hall and I was like, we should start talking about extra light posters now because like we've had an issue before. It's like, oh yeah. shit, we got to come up with something. And I was like, I want to do something. And we have so many different properties now, like so many different groups. <laughs> within Rooster Teeth and like even Let's Play Partners. And I mean, you can see there's a train that has all the Let's Play Partners on there, which is it's great. Yeah, yeah. It's um, like way in the bottom. So we have like, we have so many different so many different things now. It's like, how can we get that all into one poster and not feel like anyone slided or missing anything? And I was thinking, well, like, what about a map? Like, what if we did like a world map? Like, initially I said Game of Thrones, like do a Westeros yeah. style map. And then it, then it was like, well, what about a theme park map? Like a Disneyland style theme park map. Gavin, you have something on your beard. Right? <laughs> <laughs> is this some fluff? Yeah. yeah. That's on your dick. Uh, and so, and so John's like, okay, that's a cool idea. And then he brought it to Tony in Merchandise, and Tony is a huge Disney fan, yeah. so he lost his mind. Then took that to Tobin, and then Tobin came up with this poster. And Which, like, by the way, Tobin made that in like five minutes. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't want to say five minutes. <laughs> but, but holy shit, he worked on it, and he tweaked it. Like, we gave him some feedback, and he Im implemented it, and it looks like, 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 like balloon blue. Yeah, it's yeah. awesome. Oh, right, yeah. it, every, every direction we've grown in has been awesome, and it's great to hire talented people, but it's just like, that's the one that hits me. Yeah. Time. Like, every time I say it, I'm like, fuck. These ones are like fun that to exists. sign. That exists. Yeah. You can sign your Should area. we make lightning round a show? Lightning round the show? <laughs> I mean, it's got tenants. Maybe. <laughs> you land hard, you go for every drop, and you fight every fight. I just wonder what game you could do that it in. Really, just everything. Fortnite, we could do it in Siege. PUBG's. Like, fuck, <laughs> Siege would be fuck a funny lightning round. What if all five of us burst out of the fucking house at the beginning of the game? <laughs> <laughs> just see this burst in the front door. <laughs> An enemy idea. is detected outside. Boom! <laughs> oh, Ryan, I like the way you think. <laughs> It'd be pretty funny, yeah, actually. Idea. Every yeah, game that has that idea of like cautious tactics. Like, play, it's, it's awesome. Just, it's like, like you have 30 to seconds to prepare on defense. Don't need uh -uh. it! Yeah, <laughs> no, good. Just open that door. You, everybody go to a window and be yeah. ready to just pop right out. So, I, so I, I like it. Right, out, before but. we get too far away, though, yeah. so again, Extra Life community stream is this weekend from 8 a.m. till 8 a.m., and then next weekend is the big Rusty stream. Stream. Schedule's already like it's 95% locked in. It looks fucking amazing. I still have to find a 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. window. I need to find a group within Rooster Teeth to fill that 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. window. Sure, I'll be there. Well, Jeremy's gonna be there for the majority of the stream. Like he, hey, Jeremy's yeah. always here. Like are you that yeah. slob it? When you can are, we say when there, but yeah, you're, you're gonna be from 8 till 10. So you and Michael usually fill that yeah. 8 to 10 slot. When do you need me and Millie? Um, uh, we usually wait, show up early. 8 right? 8, 8, well, so I'll say Achievement Hunter starting 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Okay. So yeah. So if you guys come in early, that's so Saturday. Next Saturday. Next Saturday. Okay. And then at some point during the stream. Um, I, I don't know if we want to say the exact time yet. Go out of town. Uh, not yet. <laughs> yeah, not yet. We uh, we're gonna be playing fucking Who's Lines in anyway. We're gonna be playing a bunch of Who's Line games. So John's hosting it, um, and so it's gonna be me, Trevor, Miles, and Cole. Can you do the one with the camera looking down at the floor? We c I mean, we can talk to broadcast about the it. Camera but looking down at the floor. Well, yeah, they pretend they're upright, but they're lying down. Oh, so you can yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. They put the camera straight up. That's my I mean, we can one. talk to broadcast. You should, you should do the one with the redub, like the voice redub thing, but like take like a I clip mean, from a live action it. short or something. And Again, it. yeah. yeah. If, if, if we can do it, we can. You know, the there's certain ones that's like I really want to do, but we got to make sure that we have the right stuff for it. Like they have a game called Infomercial. I don't know if you've ever seen them. They just have like a box of shit. Like just random stuff, and then they have to sell you a product using what's in the box. Uh, and it's like shit like that is really funny, but we gotta make sure we have the props for it. Yeah. So, but there's a lot of stuff like I'm talking right now with uh, with Chad from Screw Attack. He's uh, he always he's, has a ton. He's of He's coming up with some ideas now. I what think. a great human being, dude, Chad. Good, good dude. Yeah, really. <laughs> he he was in an airport in San Francisco when we called to talk about Extra Life. He's like, oh yeah, let's talk about it. I'm like, okay. And he's just like, all right, sweet. But uh, yeah, we're excited about that. We've got uh, Fun House is coming out. They're gonna be here on set, so they're gonna be here in in the studio this year. Um, what else? Two spookies coming back. It's gonna be like five <laughs> spookies this year. Did you see the video Funhouse released announcing um, uh, their RTX Sydney thing? Mm -mm. No. They released a video saying like, we're going to RTX Sydney. And they're like, it's Bruce filming it. And he's going from person to person. He's been like, Lawrence, who's going? And Lawrence says, who's going? And then he goes to Elise. And he's like, where is it? And she says, where, like, in Sydney it is. And eventually it falls on James. And James is sitting in a wheelchair with a vest that's open and no shirt on underneath and a big fro wig on. 
and clearly didn't know what his lines were. And he's like, what do you want me to say? Versus like, when is it? Like, what are the dates? He goes, January? And he goes, no, February 3rd, 4th, and then it just ends. <laughs> They, nice. they do good shit. Yeah, those like guys some, some of those guys are very funny. Yeah. <laughs> some of those guys and all of their girl are very funny. Yeah. yeah. Oh, is this it? Is this uh, Elise is, like, we always say it, but Elise is the funniest person in all of Reese. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. they have a plan. Don't even there. get started. Yeah. But it's just it's like... Glasses in his hand on him. Yeah, so there's arts. the video. Yeah, so like Elise is doing like a really shitty Australian accent, like when they go to her, obviously. Of course. <laughs> Versus, like, I can't understand you. Goes to like Kovic's there, like He's Kovic's upside down. Whatever, because... yeah, whatever Kovic says, you know, right there. And then there's. <laughs> 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 goes, and then there's Vincent. Yeah, yeah then Vincent. No, that's the end of the video. Nice. <laughs> All so, right. Great enough. It was a great way Man, to announce it. I was there a couple weeks ago and I did like a day of filming with James, Elise, and Lawrence. And I, we made like four or five videos. I had so much fucking fun with them. Yeah. That's a lot of videos. As opposed to you guys. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> yeah, okay. I saw you in the comment video where it was like straight to like. Oh, God. It was something very of like offensive that came out of your mouth almost immediately. I'm trying to remember exactly what it was. Was it, was it when I said that. Yeah. Meg had to have an abortion? Yeah. Oh, it's the abortion talk. That was yeah. it. Yeah. yeah I don't great. know that that's true. Yeah. That's just a rumor that's been going around since allegedly. I started it. <laughs> that was, it was like the first thing out of your mouth. <laughs> that was like the fifth thing we'd film that day. So. I feel like you I was more carrying tied jokes down. I, yeah. I was doing callbacks to jokes and then I'm we were probably laughing about how shit they, about it than you are. How their shit, that they're, it's going to come out all wrong. So I'll be referencing jokes that haven't come out yet. <laughs> So, uh, Gavin, this is for you. Someone said, uh, for the musical, the, quote, Jack's making me do this song. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. I like you it. Figure that out. Um, Thank you, Eric. And, uh, I also want to bring up that someone pointed out a little bit ago that the shirt Gavin is wearing. Oh, but, uh... Bloodfest shirt. Oh, Gavin's in? He stars in Bloodfest. Casting crew, right? He's got a Bloodfest shirt on right there, which is a movie that Rich Seed's working on. But you know what other movie Rich Seed's working on? Or done, pretty much done with. Bloodfest Two, Laser Team Three, Laser Team Two, two. Oh, that's two. coming out. Yup, uh, trailer just came out. They made that people movie. Can, people can watch that trailer because that's going in theaters. Is, is it available yeah. on YouTube? Yeah, Red November Fourteenth, can... I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can look at all the lists of places where it's shown in that. You can mm -hmm. Go there. Or I've watched wait it. To watch it online. It? Toothpaste or semen? This is toothpaste. Okay. <laughs> uh, I did that this hey, there look, there's that. <laughs> <laughs> that was such a good time for that to pop up. That's toothpaste actually, or semen? There's laser spoiler. Team 2. <laughs> there's no toothpaste in Laser Team Laser Team 2 dot movie? Nice. Is that, a, is is that, that really a link? Dot movie. Thumbs up. Yeah, is thumbs up. Tyler. That's right. cool. I didn't even know that was a thing. Sure. Well, why not? Laser Team 2 dot movie. I know there's a trailer out that you can watch. I watched that earlier today. Do we have Uno dot movie yet? <laughs> um, <laughs> as always, uh, Colton Uno, Or is, Uno the dot you know, movie. Uno that dot movie. That'd be good. Colton uh, steals the show as always. He's oh yeah, you he's guys incredibly are both, so funny. <laughs> Gavin was there when you can't we were steal making the it. show when you're the only talented person in the movie. That's a great point. And then That's Jeremy, true. you've seen it. I've seen it. Yep. You enjoy it? I did. You can be honest. No, I am honest. Okay. It was. It was really I'm excited funny. to see Colton in it. Yeah. Colton was fucking funny. Yeah. I, <laughs> heard, I heard about some stuff. You can't yeah. not smile when you're around that dude. He's a good dude. I saw him in an airport not too long ago, and I just like I saw him and I was like. He has, a scene, he has a scene like three fourths of the way through the movie that's just like and it was, I couldn't watch it without laughing. It was so funny. <laughs> it was fun for us to hang out with Colton too because we were always watching Key and Peele sketches and he's responsible for for like, so many. He did noise. Yeah. yeah, it's one of my favorite oh, sketches. Yeah. Noise. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't know. Noise. That. That's cool. Yeah. <clears throat> did he do the uh, the uh, the football guys one? <laughs> I'm sure he was involved with it. Those videos Jingle have Kringle a shitload of views on YouTube. They should. Yeah. Like the. Uh, a A Ron has yeah. like over a hundred million views. On Jesus Christ! Balake. <laughs> well, it's the nice like size to show people. Yeah, yeah. Very digestible content. Mm -hmm. Well, whoever convinced Comedy Central to put those clips online is a genius. I mean, like SNL does the same thing. That's yeah, right. it's very smart. Yeah, it's, it's, a, great, it's a great way to. John really Oliver puts up uh, last week tonight online like immediately. Like that show they got, is so fucking good. He puts up like yeah. a segment, God not the whole show though. Well, he does. What he does like his long segment. Last yeah, night, really. this week, with, or last week, this. I never watched it. Last, yes, last yesterday, week, tomorrow, tonight. or whatever the name is. Last week, tonight. Last, last week, tonight. Last Thursday Thursday in a fortnight. That show is damn good. He is yeah. fucking, he is so good. Yeah. He's so got a formula good. and it just works. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, it, it is, like you said, it is very formulaic. Yeah. So if you don't like that style, it's very much, here's, here's an issue. Yeah. I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to explain as much as I can about it. 
educate you and explain why I believe one thing or another. Hey, that monitor over there wants me to tell you that we have a trailer for Laser Team 2. Oh, hey! Oh, oh. Speaking of John Oliver, Laser Team 2 Laser trailer. Team 2 trailer that I kept talking about. He plays Noob Noob in Laser Team 2. Is that a spoiler? That's true. He's Zazu. Roll the trailer! They are all naked. All of them big, floppy, naked parts everywhere. You can do this. Months ago, I received an encrypted alien signal that led to the brutal kidnapping of your friend, Woodrow Johnson. Ah! Your friend is lost somewhere in outer space, and you guys are the only people who can help save him. Yeah, 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 what? I'm a nerd. I'm not wearing glasses. It, it, you sound, she sounds like she is. You should be. Ow. I haven't seen these guys in years. They could barely keep us together to save the planet, much less keep us together to not save the planet. Ow. Shut up. Yeah, back at the lab. Do not touch anything in the lab, okay? How do you turn on the jetpack? Oh, I think it's that button up top. You got a button? Where's that at? Do not do that. Stop it. it. There's gas in there. Jump. Just jump. These are calibrated to fit your body exactly. We don't typically shop at the baby gap. Hey, you looking good, Hagen. I think it's the black. Yeah, yeah. It's slimming. Oh, yeah. yeah. Black don't crack, yeah, man. Guys, you guys look fantastic. You think I can't take down Laser Team? Dad bod, baby face, flat footed loser. Oh! How we gonna find Woody crawling through these vents, John McClane style? Go back, go back, I can't go back, go back, go back. Go back. I can't go back, you Oh, hell no! Get your ass out of my face! Get your face out of my ass! Howdy, y'all. Oh. This new armor is definitely different. <laughs> Boomerang shield! Check this out! Yeah, that's pretty cool. We're gonna go down in history as the destroyers of the universe. I hope I don't have to do a press conference about this. Real pretty. Why do you sound stupid? Redneck country? Handsome? What? <clears throat> there oh. it is. <laughs> that Gavin. So, oh. He's he left. Yeah, he oh, could. Gavin. <laughs> we were gonna. Howdy, y'all. How is that cookie not in that cup already? I don't know. Well. Done. All right. All right. So right. that's Laser Team 2. Go to laserteam2.movie. To find out more information, someone, about someone it. said hey, that you can watch Laser Team. You should team. dot watch it. You should dot watch it. I think someone just not said you can watch Laser watch Team it. on the site right now. Not Laser Team Two. Oh really? Yeah, Laser Team One. Something about Australia, and New Zealand. Did you say that? What? Uh, some of that. Oh yeah, Australia, right. New Zealand. It's if, there's, there's going to be there, fire in here. Premieres there. I if think. If you live there, oh. you can watch it there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But if you don't live there, Gavin, you, do you the can't watch it there. Man, speaking of New Zealand, speaking of ad reads. Oh, uh, sorry, right? No, no, come on, that was a perfect moment. From no, what, no. New Zealand or <laughs> yeah, Adrian? Right, who cares? What's up, Jeff? Speaking I was gonna say that dude, that dude made Thor, Thor Ragnarok. Yeah, yeah. Uh, ty, uh, Taiko, which you said was great. Why to Wada Wada? Taiko Watiti. Why to TDB? He did uh, What We Do in the Shadows, like, Hunt for the Wilder People, Eagle vs. Shark, and now. Have you guys I seen Hunt for the Wilder People? Yes. That's a no. fucking awesome movie. It's a great I've also movie. never seen Samuel. What We Do in Shadows. I've seen What We Do in the Shadows. What We Do in the Shadows is so fucking good. I hear there's a sequel coming. It's 20 minutes too long. Yeah, there is. They're working on a sequel called Werewolves. Right. Which is like, it's that's how they pronounce Werewolves over there, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's is I, it? Yeah, that's how they say it. They say like werewolves. Okay, <laughs> that's how you say. You know, I believe you. Rise of lights. Rise of lights. <laughs> well, that's more Australian than it is. Anyway, you should see it. What we do in the shadows is fucking awesome. I, Thor two is like, uh, I was surprised because I'd seen the first two. It's like ninety percent comedy. That's cool. It's like it's funny. Well, I mean, like we talked about this it, a little bit. It if you buy into the Hulk as a funny character, yeah. Well, it, seems, it seems like Marvel has definitely gone the lighter that. side, whereas DC's gone much darker. Mm -hmm. He's and got so. such a tragic history, but yeah, I mean, it's it, there's nothing wrong with the different take on it. Though. It's just he's just it's just, he's just silly. Mm. It's just, like, Thor and Thor and Hulk. It's like two it's like two dumb muscle dudes at the. Uh -huh. That's well, a apparently, apparently a bunch of wackadoos. They've, they've, they've said now, like most of the the, the Marvel movies are going to be like two people together. So it'll be yeah. like Captain America and somebody, or like you know, it's going to be Ant well, Ant Man and Wasp. Well, like, I mean, they somebody. have enough characters to do it now, yeah. established anyways. But it's, it's I, I love the idea of like not those like two DC who's like here's up. a couple we found. Yeah. <laughs> no, DC is like here's here's all of our characters. Yeah, <laughs> Martian Manhunter. What? Okay, uh, hey, he's John Supergirl. Who is Martian Manhunter? Oh, he's a great character, Martian Manhunter. I love him. 
Hmm. John John right. John Johns. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, he's a detective by day. I liked him in Martian the Justice Hunter League cartoon. Uh-huh. He was good in that. It delivers fast sandwiches. Oh, our, our friend. Uh, speaking of DC, our friend uh, Zachary Levi is in the DC universe now. He's he gonna is? be. He's gonna be Captain Marvel. Huh? They announced it. Yeah. He's really? Shazam. Yeah. That's gonna be uh, Zachary Levi. Which version of Shazam? I don't know. I'm gonna guess. It's not the Shazam one. Uh, I don't. Uh, I just. I, I, all I know is he's Captain. Is he a little Marvel. kid? I, don't, I honestly don't. Do well, he is Marvel like a little kid. Norm- he, he's, like, like, he's, he's normally a little kid, isn't he? Yeah. And he turns into Captain Marvel. Yeah. He's like and says Shazam. Like Superman st- is he getting like super ripped? Well, I guess so. I mean, if I mean, that's, Shazam's that's a big dude. dude. Shazam yeah, or, is not like yeah. a scrawny man. Or well, Captain Marvel. Apparently, he's gonna be sorry, in, it's Captain Marvel. He's yeah. gonna be in the Black Adam movie. I think the one that the Rock's in is is he is he Black Adam? Black Adder. No, no, that's Bro, Ryan Atkinson. Black, Black Adam is the just, bad guy. That was guy. fun watching yeah, that move yeah. down the table, getting further and further from the source. <laughs> Purple Lucky Dishwasher? Yes. Uh, yeah, so anyway, so congratulations, Zachary Levi. Also, Zachary Levi, if you're not busy next week, come on by <laughs> and hang out with us for Extra Life. Bring your so. costume. Oh, dude, I don't think this... You know who's in fucking... That I, I didn't expect? Uh, who's in... Uh, Sam Neill. Sam Thor? Jackson. Carl Urban. Oh really? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He plays. Uh, he's like a mercenary or something. I... He plays Scourge. Scourge. Excuse me. I was gonna say Splurge, and the only reason I said that is because I could kind of see what it said on the IMDb page there, and I was like, I'm gonna try to guess. Oh yeah, I was. I was wanting to make sure. Zachary Levi was in Thor. Was he really? Yeah, he plays a character named yeah, yeah, Andrel. He, no, he, yeah, he's part of the Warriors Three. He's in yeah. Thor Two. He wasn't in the first one. He replaced the guy who played the mm-hmm. character. He's in, in, he's in Ragnarok. He's in yeah. superhero oh, he movies. Oh, yeah. aware. So yeah, so he's one of the uh, jumped from Marvel to DC guys. So, you have, you have a couple guys who have jumped between Marvel series. Hey. Like, you've got Chris Evans, who was the was uh, Human Torch, and now he's Captain America. That's still Marvel, but it's... Yeah, so I'm saying, then you've got, but then you've got, like, Ryan Reynolds, who did Green Lantern. Yeah. And, and Daredevil. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm sorry. Sure, Deadpool. Daredevil. Deadpool. Deadpool. Deadpool, yeah. You so. got, oh, <clears throat> fucking, speaking of Daredevil, you got, uh... uh ben Affleck. Yeah, Ben Affleck. Groper. So that's that's he grew up for two. <laughs> yeah, he grew, he grew up that oh, lady man. on TRL. Then he apologized for it. Did he really? Yeah, it was like, the whole thing where was he was it like a camera. George Bush? He fucking no. He like uh, a... he fucking like he came out and like shit on Weinstein. And somebody yeah. was like, "What about when you did this?" And put a video of him like grabbing a girl's ass on TRL. I think like, it was like a reach sorry. around tick. Right? Yeah, and he's like, "I'm so sorry." All right, well, was it ass or tit? I think it might have been. T- I didn't watch it. I think it might have okay. been. T- you don't really. I mean, you don't see it from the right angle, but it's like supposedly that's what he was doing when he was like. But he apologized, and she like came out and said, "Yeah, you're like not cool." Dickhead. <laughs> has, has Bush apologized yet? He's, 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 like his his people, his yeah. people apologized a lot. Yeah. And said, like, he's in a wheelchair and he can't reach more, much more than that. And he says the same joke to everybody. And it's not a sexual joke. It's about him being, like, in a wheelchair and demanding. I don't know what the joke is. I, I think I read the joke and it was a little racy. Dude, I, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> he's a, <laughs> he's a different a, world. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It I, is. Like, yeah, this is what everybody said. Ah, he's just old. Sorry. I think all old people turn dirty. <laughs> it's dirty and mean. Look, like you got so much dirty in you, by the time you're old, you just gotta get the rest of it out. You just get rid of your filters, that's what it is. <laughs> your filters go away as you get older. That's you know, true. They get raw all over. People are talking about... So did they just release the entire cast of Lion King yes. today? Is yeah. that like why everyone's well, talking about it? Well, a couple days ago, A couple, yeah. couple days ago. So Seth, Seth, Seth Rogen Once and, again, uh, got snubbed. Yep. We're not in it. Seth, Seth Rogen. James L. Jones is Mufasa. I thought I yeah. nailed my James L. Jones is Mufasa. Again. Why did no one else come back? Because who, no who one would do it better, better than him. Than him. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> but why did none of the original cast, like, why didn't Rowan Atkinson do The Bird again? I don't know. Yeah. Why, mm-hmm. didn't, they, why didn't the kid from Home Improvement play Simba? <laughs> <laughs> Is that, is that not Zachary Taylor Thomas? Is that who that was? No, it's, it's John, Jonathan Macaulay Jonathan Culkin. Taylor Thomas. That's what it was. Oh, Macaulay Culkin. Did you say Home Alone or Home Improvement? Home, Home Improvement. Oh. <laughs> uh. It was Joe Pesci. <laughs> Joe, Joe Pesci and Daniel Stern were actually Timon and Pumbaa. Um, but yeah, so someone said Nala is Beyonce. Yeah, Nala is Beyonce. Oh, all right. But uh, yeah, uh, Donald Glover is, uh, Simba. is Simba. Yeah. Adult Simba. Still and not then, Spider-Man. Uh, Chai would tell Ochafor, I always say his name incorrectly, he's Scar. Which meant replacing Jeremy Irons is pretty tricky. There you go. There's the list if you're watching. Uh, John Oliver is Zazu, which I like. And then uh, <laughs> Seth Rogen and Billy Eichner are uh, Timon and Pumbaa, which is going to be awesome. Because they're going to sing uh, Hakuna Matata, which is going to be fun. Eric Andre is <laughs> in it? Yeah. yeah. I can't wait for Pumbaa to laugh like Seth Rogen. Keegan-Michael yeah. Key is in it as well. <laughs> yeah, so, so Keegan-Michael Key, Eric Andre, and then I guess that Florence... Uh, Kashumba is gonna. I, th- a, I think they're the hyenas. So is it gonna be? What's it gonna look like? It's gonna be like CG. Movie. It's it's like the the Jungle Book. It's like the the sort of um, stylized live action. So there'll probably be live action elements mixed in, but it's all gonna be. Or at least there won't. There's no real. humans in that, right? No, no humans. No. I've never seen the Lion King. 
Uh, you've never seen The Lion King? I saw it in Spanish once. <laughs> I've only seen it once. I saw it on a date with a girl, and she dumped a bucket of popcorn on my head. Did you what? deserve it? Because that's customary. When was you there a hole in the bottom of the bucket? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it was a joke. It wasn't like a bad dump, Hoos, but I it wasn't paying attention it to The Lion King. It wasn't a bad dump. <laughs> I was paying attention to her. As you should be, I guess. Anyway, it's yeah, a good movie. It's you a should, very good it. animated movie. <laughs> That was sort of the the Renaissance, like the the resurgence of Disney. Was it that or Little Mermaid? Was Little Mermaid before Lion King? I believe so. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it uh, it's around the Aladdin days. I'll look like that you're up. about to sing something from it. While you're looking yeah. that up, let me yeah. tell you a little bit about me undies. Yeah, there. I just, I'm just gonna put <laughs> it. You sound, like, you sound like a pirate. Yeah. 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 Let me tell you about me undies. I'm not gonna do the ad read like that. I, don't worry. <laughs> I'm just saving myself from reading it again after this. Everybody show. wears underwear. Buy that underwear. That's true. Me undies makes feel good undies. All right, this is the line as written. Uh, Me undies makes feel good undies your butt would will be proud to wear. Would will be? That's would, a weird it's word. weird that they put that in there. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> they'll be the most comfortable pair of underwear you will ever own. And to check it out yourself, go to meundies.com slash off topic. I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm feeling judged and I'm going to keep going. <laughs> With tons of styles and patterns to choose from for both men and ladies, Me undies will have the perfect fit for any personality. Stop it, Jeff. It's a weird also that's in here. We, we gave the ad read to the guy who's Georgia literate. <laughs> it's like he's trying to read it off an ice cube that's sliding down a hill. <laughs> <laughs> The MeUndies feeling is unmatched because they use a naturally soft fabric that is three times softer than cotton for a limited time only. Check out MeUndies first ever glow in the dark print lights out. You what? Oh, we should do that. We should get them on and turn all the lights off. Do we have a pair? MeUndies, send us a bunch. <laughs> yep. We will prance with nothing on but your <laughs> prance in the our dark. underpants. Uh, there you go. Uh, why not update your underwear drawer and glow at the same time? You'll never lose Great them. Great point. Yeah. I wonder if <laughs> putting them in the dryer recharges them. Uh, get 20% off best and softest underwear and socks you will ever own. Free shot. <laughs> Stop it. Free shipping and 100% satisfaction guarantee. Go to MeUndies.com slash off topic. That's MeUndies.com slash off topic. Too classy for Alabamians. Nailed it. Yeah. No, I'm wonder, wearing MeUndies right now. I wonder if putting it in the dryer recharges it. Recharges it. it. That's how glow in the dark works. Glow in the dark works. <laughs> Could be. No. Yes, <laughs> Unless you have a giant light near Glow in the dark stuff. Uh, I don't like that works to be really scared, well, so I installed lighting. <laughs> There's some things that are glow in the dark that should never be glow in the dark, though. That reminds me of. Did you guys ever see that movie in the 80s that had John Ritter in it? Probably. It was like a sex farce. Not Noise is Off, but it was like a sex farce. And Problem he, Child. And a dude. No. He and a dude got were like both banging a chick, but not at the same time, but like, like a whole thing Tower. where like she was banging somebody, and then he showed up and didn't know that the guy was there and was hiding. But they both had like different glow in the dark condoms on. I've and seen so it was a that. scene in the dark where it's just like two dicks. Flapping around, is it actually, actually, actually another dick? Though, is it? No, no, I don't think it was like actually his shit. dick in a condom. I also, think that's, that's horseshit. Glow in the dark condoms, like working like that. What? No, I've used one. Oh, and, and? They, and okay, so unless so the, like the a, only way you would get it to work like that, like it is in the in that video where it's like the dicks running around and shit like yeah. that, you would have to put it on and then hold your dick under a light. While it's on, why don't you just pre-put it under the light? Because that's what I did, and but it's rolled up. I like up, how prepared you were. But it's rolled up, so you can't get to well, it's right. everything. Right. Does so the light the not you? No, so I unrolled it, and it was like the fucking cat in the hat. There was stripes of glowing <laughs> down the whole length. <laughs> you know how like if you take a flashlight and, flash that bright, and you, you like know? put it to your finger, you can kind of see through the mm -hmm. finger. That's all. <laughs> you know, and you would think it'd be bright as hell. Do you think you could bang? Because obviously, when you go in, it's going to go dark, and you pull out. Well, that's what I'm saying. If you like, yes, if you, but if again, you angle, not, could you see like a, a hundred watt bulb? It's a light source. Could you? you can't. You're not having sex when she if, opens her mouth, and the light comes I wonder, out. If, <laughs> I wonder if anyone has ever had to signal SOS in Morse code with a glowing. Clock no, no, by, no one. Okay, I can also, definitively I mean, say that no one yeah. has ever. Yeah. <laughs> <it. laughs> also, if you're an SOS, if you're legitimately in distress. Just banging one out to try and save yourself is probably not the way. Also, to go. if you had a glow in the dark condom and you pitched to the woman, I'm gonna put this on. We're gonna charge it. I'm gonna put it on, and I'm gonna signal SOS by fucking you, <laughs> rather than or lighting dude, it up and dude, then doing this. Or dude. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. If, if all that, you got another, you know, a dude available. If you do that though, it will still light up your face. So you do have to put it entirely in something. To and the ship's gonna be like, I can see that guy's Does face. Your hand, <laughs> yeah. She's not in trouble, fuck that That's guy. That's how you should, we should do, <laughs> yeah. 
You know how you like you hold a, a flashlight under your face to tell ghost stories? Yeah. We should. <laughs> yeah. I want to tell a ghost story, Jeremy. Here's what I'm One more need. thing I gotta point out really quick. I need you to put a If you have a light bright enough on, to charge the glow in the dark condom, right there. why are you using the condom to signal them and not whatever light that you just used to charge out the glow in the dark condom? He what if it's a, a temporary point. light? <laughs> so you're like, I can use this as a signal for help, but what I'm what gonna do- What if you do, dropped it so and it broke the light? And then yeah. all you had left was your dick. Yeah, you- you broke the light up. <laughs> We're gonna die! Or we're gonna- yeah. No, <laughs> She's like, why'd you put the condom on? You're like, well, cause now we have a situation. <laughs> well, I have a choice! I'm trying to save your life! Alright, fuck it. Jeff, what's up? Oh, you know, just hanging out. Alright. Anyone right. played, uh, Mario Odyssey? No. 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 I hear lots of good things, though. Gavin, have you played Mario Odyssey? I have. How very, was it? Very nostalgic. There's, they they went like extra mile stuff to make it feel super N64 like at times, hmm. which is we, uh, great. We people found out yesterday it. that they somebody has recently modded Mario 64 to include a portal gun, which Ryan couldn't comprehend yesterday. I can comprehend it. Why? It he just kept going like it doesn't. It doesn't how how they how do you play it? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> I like you probably didn't wrong, say that so. at all. I you said, would, you did. You did kind of. What you you did. You, you grossly overplayed my statement. Why don't we reenact the conversation? I, I don't even remember because I said like one accurately. thing. No, and you argued about it. The conversation was, was Jeff said you can mod, you can mod it to do like. I said to do we this. don't have and an N64. Went, How? We don't well, have. I an, assume. And Jeff went. An well, you, there's mods out there you can get them. Ryan's like, we don't have an N64. How would we do that? And Jeff's like, well, it's all on PC. I mean, yeah. we can just actually. Play it on he was PC. like, he and said something more like they probably did it on the the PC, idiot. Was probably did more accurate. Yes, that was very uh, accurate. <laughs> as if he'd totally forgotten <laughs> about a, modified consoles. That's not a very. He's right. I did call him an idiot. Yeah, because uh, people modified consoles all the time. It's true, but Mario's, we don't have one. So Mario Odyssey. My assumption would have been there. <laughs> are you allowed to? Are we allowed to make videos in emulated games? We're barely allowed to make videos in Nintendo content. Period. We're not. Yeah. Are we? Probably we not. Yeah, we haven't yeah, had yeah, any yeah, problem. Yeah, with yeah. Some stuff with Game Attack. Yeah. Like give me the stuff with Game Attack. Well, that that's that oh, it has to be content that people watch. That's yeah. true. Uh, it's the uh, that the uh, hey, that's Bandai, Bandai shit. The, the stuff. Yeah, yeah, there's the portal, portal gun. gun. But it just wouldn't work. That's that's not. So wait, 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 this wait, is this is basically Mario. <laughs> yeah. Only not multiplayer. Oh, oh boy, I don't know if I'd like to play that though. So you just appear on the other one. It's not like it's the, like teleport. Oh, right? that that looks way too confusing. I don't. I don't see that that really the, adds anything. I mean, that would add, hey, I need a platform up there. Yeah. Fuck that. Yeah. I mean, that's, it would take yeah. on a huge aspect of the It'd be cool game. if you could get a chain chomp to go through and come out yeah. somewhere else. That'd be pretty wicked. That yeah. would what be if it, wicked. What if it cut his chain? Has there ever been a chain chomp as chain is released? That's how, you, that's how you kill him. Really? Yeah, you stomp their post down and they piss off, don't they? That's how you get the star in the first map. He smashes the cage open. Jesus, Jeremy. I, the uh, fuck is wrong with them? They you? piss off? Wait, well, when they're chained down, aren't they always trying to get you? Yeah. So then, then when, when they're you, released, when they're you like, break the stuff that it. holds the chain, they just do one. They decide they want freedom more than they, they don't want, want you. you anymore? Hey, they have to protect that spot. Once the spot Chain shops need to decide what the fuck they want, is what I'm learning right yeah. now. Probably not to be chained to a post is what they want. I guess. Have you tried it? Though, All right. being chained is part of their name. It sort of defines them. Right. <laughs> right, but. And they chomp. Pokemon so, is a part of their name. They they're not decide. called free fuck offs. They're called chain shots. <laughs> <laughs> well, everything in Mario has its own like Japanese name anyway. Oh, What's so you think the we're Japanese just name missing for some nuance? What? So <laughs> it's, it's, you're playing Mario Odyssey. It's a good game. I like yeah. it. Well, Jeremy, what are you playing? Uh, Assassin's Creed right now. Playing yeah. a lot of Assassin's you're playing Creed. Playing Wolfenstein too, right? Yes, Wolfenstein. I'm only playing on stream at the moment. How long is that campaign? I don't know. I, uh, when I I played it for four and a half hours, maybe. Um, and when I told Michael where I was in the game, he said I was probably about halfway or okay. more. So that's probably been, about I've an been, eight hour. Campaign. I've been thinking about switching over to it. I've been playing Origins, and it's great, and I love it. And I haven't played a Assassin's Creed campaign in a while. Mm -hmm. But I I I I made the mistake of zooming out on the map and seeing it is massive. It's I'm huge, like, dude. 12 hours into the game, and I'm just picking up question marks around the map. Yeah, I, realize, I just right do now, that like, while I'm watching another videos. Another 80 hours of gameplay <laughs> to finish that game, probably. Does it have multiplayer? 
Uh, no, there's no yeah. multiplayer. We actually, we, we I know, right? Over on the, the Ubisoft sense. US channel, we have another Let's Play that went up yesterday. One of the Let's Play Presents. Um, uh, Let's Play Presents, you can check that out. Uh, it's, uh, it's me playing, so Kent played for like 30 hours straight, yeah. and got to like level 40. Or Kent no, no, was, Pan, Pan, Pan did, excuse me, Pan Kent, did. Kent told me he was the second person in the world to platinum yeah. Assassin's, Creed. Assassin's Creed Origins. That's yeah. fucking <laughs> really cool. Uh, so Ubisoft gave us access early so we could build up a character. So, so Kent built up a character, and then basically handed it off to me, so I'm playing with a character who's way, way overpowered. And uh, after playing it on my own now for you know probably oh, 15 hours, I feel uh, I, I feel like I don't know what the hell I was it. doing in there. So <laughs> he's just like, it right. looks like you don't know what the hell you're doing. Oh, oh Wait, my that? god, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, to you. was that that's not exactly a predator bow? Michael said too. I think Dude, I just fired it off. I want, quick, a, so. I want that bow. Oh, you might not have had the upgrade. The predator bow when you, you hold it down. Yeah, you hold down and just steer the arrow. Yeah, he was doing something. You do what? Someone's penis. Yeah, you hold down the trigger. You get to steer the arrow like a fucking missile. Yeah, I forget the name of what we call the to bow say. to a tomahawk. Is Alexandria yeah. the biggest city in the game? Or are there bigger cities? I think it might be. Because you get there really fast. Yeah, but, but there's uh, a ton of stuff huge. to do. Yeah, yeah, but check out the check out the video over in the Ubisoft US channel. It's a lot of fun. Assassin's Creed Origins is great, and there's a link in the description below for more information. So you should check that out Dude. if you're watching this. But yeah, um, so that game I'm playing a lot. Wolfenstein, Wolfenstein's just stupid fun. I hear there's like a big is. like. Twist or something that's crazy, but I, probably I, I, just, I haven't gotten. I've been there trying yet. to avoid being spoiled. Yeah, I haven't gotten to that yet. But Michael it's like, was talking about it. It's just it's horrifically bloody. Just in case you know, oh, yeah, it, it it, going into it, just like every time you assassinate someone, even if it's like a quiet, silent takedown, it's like you cut off both their arms and then kill them. You do not stop at one limb. Yeah. typically. the first yeah. time Ryan did it in the Let's Watch, he snuck up behind someone crouching and he just cut off both their legs at the knee. And, and they then fell like, and he stabbed him in the throat. Yeah, yeah it, was it was like, like that was, I was the, like, oh my God. the leg thing was completely <laughs> pointless. And I, I didn't need Cotton to deal with them. It's around. it's. A brutal game, but it's fun. And but the other thing I've noticed with it is I played it on the same difficulty you were doing the Let's uh -huh. Watch, which is like one Bring above normal because there's like six or seven yeah, yeah. difficulty options. So I did like one above normal, and it would and uh, it was pretty easy. You know, like you got through it. It was just a shooter. And then every now and again, there's a section that just ratchets up the difficulty mm. like massively. Like you're just in a small room are with you, a bunch of. Are people. you leveling up your character as you go and like unlocking abilities or like health? No, and damage? I don't. Uh, I don't. I think so. I don't think there was a skill I'm, tree, wasn't there? My brain is mixing up my games. Yeah. No, you can upgrade your weapons. Yes. You can find weapon upgrade kits, and okay. you can make their. Is that but it's like, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I'm playing it on the PC. I, Michael's really into his PC at the moment. I guess yeah, he's he just got yeah. one. But he's, he's Michael and I are both playing. On he PC. doesn't uh -huh. play anything on console anymore. I was gonna play Assassin's Creed on PC, and then there's been bad talks. They sent me the. Uh, uh, Microsoft sent us an Xbox One, mm -hmm. and it had a one X. Well, Xbox One X. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, and it had a code for Assassin's Creed, and I was like, you know what? I'll I'll play it on the Xbox One X. Why not? <laughs> They've got some maybe problems with the. It's another one of those. Hey, it's on PC. Frame rate may kinda, be an issue. Yeah, yeah. It's got like a double layer. And uh, thing it's, it's just happen. weird because I played on the Xbox One X in my house, and I played on the Xbox One, the regular Xbox One at work, and there is like a pretty. I see a difference, especially yeah, the, yeah. the loading times. Same. I see a difference, and the main place I see a difference is when you're on a sync point, when you're synchronizing, and the screen goes around. It's smoother on yes, the Xbox absolutely. One X. Totally agree. I've I seen feel that. it. I feel it because I play. I, I primarily play it on my Xbox One X at home with my new 4K TV. Mm -hmm. And then I come into work and I, I, you know, dicking around between videos, I'll play it here. And I feel like, it feels a little, I don't know what, I don't know how to describe it. It's very it. slight. Yeah, but yeah. You Do you feel, feel like you're wasting the experience by playing it at work and you just want to play it in full? Uh, no. no, because I, really. I, do all, I do a lot of grinding. Yeah, I do at other work. important stuff at work. I just like, <clears throat> it's just like question mark, question mark. I've been doing that with Mario where it's because Mario's a game where you can just screw around, you can like do side mm -hmm. shit all the time. Uh -huh. But if ever I'm gonna like fight Bowser or do a big cutscene, I wait until I can put my Switch in my dock and play on my TV just because I want the cutscenes uh, nice and big. Yeah, why not? What are, uh, what are you playing, Jack? I've been playing a lot of uh, Assassin's Creed at home and then I've been playing Fractured but Whole. I'm oh, almost I gotta get to it. that too. It's, yeah. uh, it's, so how how much further are you from the I'm, where we were? That I'm we were a good ways with? away. So uh, what am I like halfway through the game then? Uh, you are at the storage place. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say you're about halfway through. The okay. Game. Yeah. Uh, Millie's been playing it, so I'm like at her behest. Like, whenever she feels like playing it, we yeah. play it. So it's uh, it, it, it gets, it gets pretty wild, man. It's it's a fucking fantastic game. Like it's, I've it's, loved it. So far. it's like playing a South Park. It's like playing three South Park movies. Yeah. Like it's so good. Like the storyline's a lot of fun. The characters fun. The gameplay is actually really fun. It is um. 
it has been fun to watch Millie understand those adult jokes. No, really? Yeah. That's all I'll say. <laughs> yeah. It's like some stuff that like, like I see her get stuff for the first time that's a little risque or a little like, you know, and uh, just to watch her be so tickled by it and like to really understand why the joke's funny, you know, it's very, it's been like the first very time, fun to watch. The first time you go to the church and stuff. I've had more <laughs> fun watching her play the game than I've had like... In a long time, man. It's really funny, but it, it's a good game. It's real well done. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm almost done with it. I think I'm I'm to probably the last five percent of the game right okay. now. Okay, so I'll probably finish it maybe today. Are you gonna thousand point it? No, 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 I don't think so. Is it gonna be one of those super the... annoying ones like find all the or make friends with everybody or I think you so, take a that, selfie that kind of with you can kind of, Yeah, you can take selfies with everyone. And then there's like there's hidden uh was it Yowie, is that what it's called? Yeah, the, the mm -hmm. pictures of Tweak and like Craig. 20, 20 pictures. And then there's eight photos they have to post around um, you know, for all the, over South Park. For and, the police guy. Yeah, the police guy. And then there's uh you have to take a shit in every toilet. Yeah. And then there's artifacts, you have to click all on the artifacts and yeah, yeah. There, there's a, there's a lot of stuff in that game. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, like, I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm not as crazy about like, oh, we gotta do every bit of it again. Mm -hmm. uh, that being said, I might try it with Assassin's Creed. I think I'm gonna as well. I think I probably will. Is Assassin's it better than Stick of Truth? Uh, I think so. The Stick of Truth felt short. It felt really short, and the combat felt very repetitive. This they they definitely changed it up. It is good of, combat. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so. But it's a fun game. I highly recommend it. If you like South Park, especially. Yeah, I mean, I want to play it, but sadly it's like six on my list of stuff that I want to play. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. is on Possible. your list right now? I want to play Wolfenstein, play mm -hmm. Mario, I'm always done with that. Yeah. I want to play uh, Assassin's Creed. It's a great one. Uh, just all the shit we've been talking about. Yeah. I, want to, I want to get it all. Mm -hmm. cool. Call of Duty came out today. So you're, uh, uh, you know, probably gonna play that. you're not going to play that? <laughs> Call you're, uh, you don't haven't experienced World War II again? I haven't played Nazi it. Call Call been, I'm actually excited about it. So I didn't like Infinite Warfare. Me I'm, neither. Or uh, Advanced. I wasn't crazy about Advanced. How did you feel about World of War? Uh, I didn't like World of War because it, it, it fucking cheated. <laughs> I was not a fan of World of War. I beat I'm that on very angry at the hard World of War. One. Veteran, veteran, yeah, I beat it on veteran. But, I know what you're uh, talking about. But. I never beat it on veteran. I never beat World of War because I only play Call of Duty on veteran, yeah. and so I just never finished. And that I mean, I hardly ever play the campaigns now. I play the multiplayer a lot. And like when I played Modern Warfare Remastered, when they released Modern Warfare Remastered, I played a fuck ton. That of game's that. great. I just had so much fun because it was like old school. But I just saw something about the multiplayer on this. Did you see the gifts online of the loot boxes in Call of oh, Duty yeah. World War II? Mm -hmm. Yeah. People were, they were like buying loot boxes or whatever, like in game, I guess maybe it's like a lobby before you go in where you all kind of can run around before the game or whatever. You see other people's loot boxes. Like they drop in front of them and you can see what they got. It's displayed huh. in front of them, which is oh. definitely only for the purpose of, oh, that guy got something really good. I mean, good. Destiny I would, does that, right? Where you see the loot that everybody got at the I end. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. you don't buy it. Yeah. You yeah. know, like, that's the thing. You're not paying money for it. You're not paying money for it. Because then, uh, I guess, like, that can make people nervous of, like, what necessarily is stopping them from maybe putting a bot in there or something that opens up a loot box and... It gets really good stuff. Oh, as an incentive to get yes. real people. Yes, you know what I mean. <laughs> like, yeah, look, look, look. Boop, Doop. Fucking stole. So the everyone order. can see that. Weird. Everybody can see that you just did. That's so is, is there is there just like a big like is there like a tower for? I don't know what that is, duty? or if yeah. that's like a lobby before the game. Yeah. Starts. I'm, ex I'm excited about it though because I just like it's like a simple shooter, right? Yeah. Like, I yes. fuck it. Like Infinite Warfare, there was so much going on on the screen. It was like visual. It's like a Transformers movie. I just yeah. couldn't tell what was happening. And uh, it just wasn't fun. I'm even as much still as not thrilled about ha that there's classes in this. Yeah. Like, I, I don't like the that there's it. like assault class and then there was whatever had the shotgun and whoever had the sniper and everything. I just liked the old oh, I like Call of Duty where it's like, that guy's running at me and he could have a sniper or he could have a bazooka out. I, you know, like not like, oh, he's got a ghillie suit on, he's probably the sniper class, or he's got uh -huh. this, he's this class, so he has this ability, he goes slightly faster. It was just like everyone was the same dude, yeah. which is whatever two guns they picked. You know, I what, liked that. What did classes really well was Battlefield 1942 and 1943. Oh yeah, they fucking nailed Battlefield the class does system. a good job with classes. Yeah. And there were differences for each one, right? It was, mm -hmm. But it was subtle. It was like mm -hmm. a different helmet or. Mm -hmm. I like Bad Company Two classes. Bad yeah. Company Two might be the Bad best. Company Two is a great game. Yeah, it might so be the fun. best class-based game ever. Yeah, like it, it was so well done. And that was I like I will say uh, what, what did we play recently? Wow. Uh, 
Oh, sorry? Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, the Wildlands PvP, I, so I always play support classes. I'm always medic or whatever. That was actually really cool, yeah. The Wildlands PvP, the 4v4 four four PvP. The support class PvP. is the most dangerous yeah. fucker on the map. Dude, the support class is fucking amazing. Like, it's a goddamn drone it's strike. Bro, yeah. bro, Jack had like four times the rest of our scores. Yeah, when like, I was consistently the highest scorer on our team. By I'm support, a... it means the one that calls in the artillery. The thing, about yeah. wild, the thing about Wildlands multiplayer, too, is like once you pick that class, it's gone. Like, everybody yeah. no one else can be support. Like, like I like style. that. I like but there's like subclasses, so you can still yeah. be support, but there's a different yeah, for support. Sure. And it's like not recommended. Really. I'm, not, I'm really hoping that the audience picks, if, if we do a poll or, yeah. you know, like we've <laughs> asked for suggestions ones, yeah. from the audience, I really hope it's Wildlands, personally. We, it's, the only concern we had with Wildlands was just like getting enough. Getting enough competition? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how many people are playing it. It's weird to launch multiplayer in a game eight months after it came out yeah. or something. It's been out for a while. It's so, good though. Like it was a decade. Fun. It was a good game. What we did earlier. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> oh. yeah but th I mean, I want to play People Bad Company playing. 2 now. Bad Company 2 is so oh good. Dude, Have that we ends. Play that? I think we tried. Jack I and I did, did, did a Battlefield Week. Did an Achievement Hunter thing, oh, right, a game, game yeah. with Fame thing. Yeah, we did a GameStop like, thing before it was out. That was like old school Achievement Hunter. Like us like, and we got pro like 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 uh, partnered with like esports guys. Yeah, it was it was it, they had a, they had a, like a rush mode, it was like a squad rush mode, it was like four v four, where it was like basically you had one life and you had to try to like it was like rush mode, so it was like beat A, beat you know B, and then finish on C, and so it was uh, like four v four squad mode. And it was like a tournament where like the winning team won like ten grand. And, uh, and I ended up winning the whole damn thing. Like me and my team ended up winning the whole thing. I didn't get any money for it. Like we were, <laughs> we were like the, <coughs> yeah, the, it to the yeah. yeah. So like two of the guys, it was me, an MLG guy, and then two normal dudes. And the two normal dudes like split ten grand. Oh, sure. and I was like, cool. If you guys ever come to Austin, you know, you owe me a steak. And they're like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> then they never came. But uh, no, it was the thing where I was the medic, and like, like no one else was playing medic. And so literally, I would hang back. One of our guys would die. They're like, okay, he's done. I go Boop, and bring him back to life. And I'm like, oh what shit? And then the then thing that you can everyone. do. Bad Company 2 that I think is one of the coolest things I've seen in video games and we I think we did Please a things to do it. in it. It's my favorite thing to do. Please say it. It wasn't my favorite thing to do. I've, I've only done it once. And I think it was a things to I think we did a things to do in it a couple years ago when, in Hardline. But how you could get you get a spotter way down at the other end of the map because the rush maps are so long and you could fire a, a sniper rifle in a direction and the target is too far away to see but then the spotter would see where it hits and you could you could fucking spawn shoot people from across the map as long as you had a guy like halfway down the map who's spotting for you. You're like, oh no, that was a little to the left. Go to the right, to the right, to the right. Really? Because the bullets carry forever. Wow, I didn't <laughs> yeah. know that. We uh, did it. We did a things to do, and I don't know if it came out, but we did it. Does nobody remember this? I don't remember that. It was right hey, around the time we did the funny. couch video. We we also did oh, couch, uh, potatoes. couch potatoes. I remember right us doing a lot couch of explosions on cars. We did that which too is what led on to motorcycles. The couch video. That's led to the couch video, and then yeah. I think. In an effort to get more stuff out of it, mm -hmm. I, I I had to at least test that. I do remember, yes. Because I remember we were, it was, it was like in the desert, the... and we were like, yeah, we were standing. I think it was a city map that we did in Hardline, because it was there was a thing been. where it was like a bay in the city, <clears throat> and it's like you could the city wrapped around it, the map wrapped around like a. Bay. Yeah, it was that. It was the same map where we did the couch surfing. I think that was the desert one. That was the desert. That was the desert with the water tower on top. Mm -hmm. But uh, Bad Company 2 and I think Battlefield 3, is that what came out after Bad Company 2? Yeah. Defibbing. Uh, yeah. Um, those two games, me and my friends, my friends were, the re <laughs> were the real, were those assholes that would take the buggies, right? Like the little ATVs and stuff, and would strap C4 oh, to the front yeah, of them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, that was the most fun you could have in that game. You, you just, charge, jump off. You just off. charge, you jump off, it keeps going, and then you just blow it up. It was the best way to take out a tank. Uh -huh. There's a yeah. tank, you just launch that into it. But then we eventually found out, too, that I could like put C4 on my friend's ATV, and then I'd sit on the back of it with the trigger. And um, so I would usually die, but because friendly fire was off in a lot of games, it wouldn't kill him. <laughs> So people would see us drive like into a building, the building collapse, and then just my friend comes out. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a uh, I saw a gift the other day. I think it was what's the most recent battlefield? Is it one? One. 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 Yeah. I don't think it was. Maybe it was one, or maybe it was like one of the previous ones. I'm pretty sure it was a battlefield game where it was like two dudes. Uh, it was a guy on like a cliff, and a guy, over to the left of him was another guy on a cliff, and they're both sniping down at the bottom of the cliff. And he looks over, and the guy on the left just like runs, jumps off the cliff, and hits a parachute, and like sails down, mm -hmm. and he's like. Huh, you can see it in his head. Like, you can feel it. He goes, he runs and jumps off and just fucking. <laughs> oh, no, you know what nice. game? I saw a game. You know what game that was? What was it? Ghost Recon. Oh, was that Ghost Recon? <laughs> okay. I thought yeah, it was Battlefield. The, the yeah. guy jumps off the thing. Yeah, parachute. His brain jumps, just goes straight into the box. Yeah. It's such it's a good game. It's fucking gift. hilarious. I saw a gift from uh, GTA the other day. 
You know the fucking donut uh, hole the thing? The backwards one? Hole. The liquor hole. Fuck me, dude. Jumps yeah. off of a ramp in a bike, turns upside down so he does that floating thing oh, you do yeah, the yeah. bike, bails off of that, turns himself around so he's falling feet first, goes through the hole backwards, and then pops the chute. But like, luges through the hole. Yeah. yeah. What was that game? Does he survive? I think it was, yeah. I think it was Ghost Recon, mm -hmm. Gavin, where we were, we, were, we were trying to sneak up on a building at night. Where I face planted with <laughs> <laughs> I jumped off a cliff and parachuted down, and I go, okay, Gavin, come, and I looked at you, and I saw, uh -huh. like, it was framed in such a way that your body just vanished behind <laughs> I feel like a lot of... <laughs> Our comedy between the two of us involves you looking at me full off stuff. <laughs> yeah, we had a, seems to. Oh, a we had a uh, moment recently. Oh, not we, to spoil the video we filmed this morning. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But there was a moment where <laughs> it's like Gavin goes, Are you you coming, Jeremy? And Jeremy goes, Yeah, hold on a second. And then he says, Jeremy has died. <laughs> and Jeremy just goes, Gavin goes, hey, what, what happened? He's like, hey, jump off of that real quick. And, just <laughs> and goes, I was like, okay. Jeremy's dead. <laughs> and Jeremy just goes, miss the box. <laughs> you die from a twisted ankle in that game. Yeah, oh, you do. Man. You know what would have saved you? <laughs> What's that? A Casper mattress. Oh, hey, good job. Hey, that was a better segue. This episode of Off Topic is brought to you by Casper, a sleep brand that continues to revolutionize its line of products to create an exceptionally comfortable sleep experience one night at a time. Get, a, get sorry, $50 off any mattress purchased by visiting casper.com slash off topic and using promo code off topic at checkout. Casper's mattresses are designed by humans for humans, because I guess we haven't taught robots to do it yet. Uh, they combine multiple supportive memory foams for a quality sleep surface with just the right sink and just the right bounce. Stop it, Jeff, over there. I don't know what you're doing, but I don't like it. I'm watching Jeremy. Okay, I just don't trust you. Casper's breathable design helps you sleep cool and regulate your body temperature through the night. They're not just a mattress company. Casper offers a wide array of products to ensure an overall better sleep experience. Jack, please talk about your personal experience with Casper mattresses. I love my Casper mattress. I sleep on it every night at home. It's really comfortable, and it's like memory foam stuff, and so you, you rest into it, and it's really, really good, and it breathes. Thanks for that personal experience, Jack. You can buy it easily online and completely risk-free. It'll be delivered right to your door in a compact box. Considering we spend, uh, you, you know, about a third of your lives on a mattress, it's important to truly sleep on a mattress before committing. That's why Casper gives you 100 nights to try it out. Start sleeping ahead of the curve with Casper. Get $50 towards any mattress purchase by visiting casper.com slash offtopic and using the promo code offtopic at checkout. Terms, terms and conditions may apply. I never thought I'd get to say that with a straight face, and I still haven't. That's $50 towards any mattress purchase by visiting casper.com slash offtopic and using promo code offtopic at checkout. Pound sign, pound sign, pound sign, pound sign. Do we charge well, as much when you do the so, other I hope not. So Jeremy Jeremy found the video. Yeah, someone posted it in the The uh, reason J Gavin and Ru Jack don't remember because it, it was me, Ryan, Michael, and Andy. Andy, yeah, I see Mr. And Sarah. it was in that desert map where we did the Oh, concert. that one! Yeah. I remember that. Yeah, that was the things to do. Yeah. Oh, yeah it was one of those things to do. There was a section of time um, when Achievement Hunter was first transitioning into doing things to do's live. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. like yeah. things to do were never really let's play. They were style. pre recorded, yeah. Yeah. But that one I can True. see him though. Like I can see the guy on the hill. Do you remember what the first live? Thing I think that was just a was? long shot. Mm -hmm. First what? What was this video called, Jeremy? I uh, I don't remember. The <laughs> first the first live action things to do. The first live commentary things to do. I have no clue. Do you know? Dot shot. That's what it was called. Well, I one. would guess it might have been GTA. AAA. Oh, yeah. the let's fail from. Yeah, yeah, but probably. I'm trying to think of anything before that. No, Triple A wasn't live, was it? Yeah. Well, because I mean, it was no, a let's it was, fail, right? The final thing well, to do was probably commentary. Yeah, it was we the, actually the, did the things live, to do is post yeah. Yeah. Well, let's fail is from live commentary of doing it. Uh, I'm going to look at a playlist of things to do's. And do you, do you, I'm going to ask you guys a question. Do you remember? I know the answer. Do you guys know what the very first things to Cops do was? Up. Yeah, Cops Good job. Nice. Let me that one as well. <laughs> I remember when that started. That was a great video. If Dude, I do say so myself, I made it. Gavin's fucking things to do's in Minecraft are like my favorite things. I like Gavin's things to do's in uh, fucking Garden Grief. I like Gavin's things. Wish to I had time in... to make things to do's. Dude, what that... is that game? Skyrim. Skyrim. Your Skyrim. Fucking fucking with the preacher or whatever. Pissing <laughs> off the preacher. <laughs> that's that's that was actually <laughs> what I'm looking forward to in Fallout 4 VR is being able to do that sort of thing. Uh, what yeah. was the one we did where we fuss row? Ah, oh, it was, it was a <laughs> pss, 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 fuck. <laughs> yeah. I, I remember pissing oh, yeah. off the, cr the preacher because that was when back, that was back when we had to do it every week, and I was and honestly I'd run out of ideas. Yeah. I was just like, I, I can't think of anything funny to do, so I just started trying to remember some guy, of these It's like one of the ones. most famous ones. Somehow. What do you think the best one we've ever done is? Oh, we've had, we've had some class. Tr trick the, shot. The trick, trick shot. Trick shot one. I would say the best. Trick shot. Uh, 
E, uh, Achievement Knievel is probably the most viewed one. Bumbait, I mean, Bumbait is a great one. I was going to say, Bumbait and Growth Spurt are the two I think of. How did Trick Shot work? You were just throwing cabbage. Threw the cabbage into the bucket. It was like cabbage off the roof rolled down into a bucket. In Skyrim. Right? Yeah. Skyrim yeah. VR's was. coming out. It could trick oh, shot me. And then we went out. Oh that was like when we used to film actual, like, us doing it in yeah. the parking lot. And we did that first shot. Psst, psst. Oh, I don't know how throwing things will work, but I mean, in, when you're playing in the game, you just hit what E, right? Uh, and it just well, threw it a set distance. You just hold it, and when uh -huh. you let go, it flings off. Oh, okay. So it might be a case of. Mighty, or we might actually be able to yeah. trick shot wow. with it. Back in the day, dude. Oh, yeah. Landmines, juggle. demining, Max Payne. I've tried it in a few different VR games. I've never done it successfully. No. Max Payne, was that Maxin and Relaxin? Max and Relaxin. I, like that oh, I feel like that was a, I think that might have been a Michael. That was Michael. E I E I Wo. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even remember what that is. It's the giant pig and the giant sheep. Oh, right. <laughs> e I E I Oh, Felix, Felix Baumgartner. That yeah. Was, I remember that one. Michael Ding did a good dead. one in GTA with, uh, fr I think it was called Front oh, the Style. Yeah, that might style. have been the first one. What? Felix Baumgartner? Oh, no. Maybe Kerplunk. Kerplunk? I made that one. Kerplunk Dude, might have been the first one. Floaty Boaty came out. That was a lot of fun. Floaty Boaty was I, great. I'm sad I missed that. Oh, that, that wasn't a coaster. <laughs> Oh, I was like going to play with the coaster. Floaty Boaty was. <laughs> I like remember, the name. <laughs> well, yeah, it was Michael. Um, do you know the. You, you remember Spleef? Yeah. In Minecraft? Quim. Like hit the floor with Quim. Yeah. Quim. <laughs> yeah. It's essentially Spleef, but in boats. Apparently, if you put boat a boat on ice, you it just goes. Like, you can roll around, but it's like twice as fast. You're drifting you constantly. Like, you're sliding around. And so he gave us boats on a giant rink of ice, and we all had um, pickaxes that could pickaxes. That's break super the ice fast, in yeah. one hit. Yeah. So everyone's just driving around smashing. And you didn't break your own boat? Nope. No, no, no. no. no you would swing outside of it, but it was just like, it would make a line. So like... In my head, my, the boats in Minecraft are still uh, paper thin. So if you... Yeah. Wait, was it like silk touch? So if you break the ice, it doesn't turn into water? It was efficiency. No. So, oh yeah, and I guess it had silk touch as well. But I don't know what was on it, but yeah, the ice just Because if you break the ice, it turns into like water. Like one swing, yeah. it would just be gone. That's I think, I think silk it was touch. Packed ice, packed which might not do that. That might be it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, but yeah, advantage. And then was it like lava blow? Yeah, it was lava. Yeah. So it would be a drop, and so it was like six of us or so, like six or seven of us all going around. And then when you die, you just fly up and look down and make these cool patterns because it was a giant circle, and you'd see like these cool patterns in the ice and stuff. It was really neat. The only problem is we'd have to reset it every time. Like we saved it and then have to like reload old school, it. have to exit out of the game and reload yeah. it. Who made it? Matt. Matt, Matt did. Mm. I gave him uh, things to do in Minecraft to make the other day that I'm excited about. It's called. Uh, How excited is he? He was excited because it's a real oh. simple build. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, it's called Villager Racing, so hopefully it'll turn out well. <sighs> I, think, I think he's already tired. built it. <laughs> it's a bad sign. I've got to be here at 8 a.m. tomorrow for the community stream, and then we're streaming <laughs> How for long 25 are you there? hours. 25 hours. You're not so, there the whole time, are you? Yeah. Well, the, the thing is, so it's we start, we do basically like five minutes of us going, hey, everybody, we're, we're Rooster Teeth. We're, uh, okay, let's throw it out to New York. And then we stream New York for... Until the top of the hour, and then it, then at the top of the hour, it cuts back to us. We're like, all right, cool, thanks, good job. Why don't you just have each group pass to the next group. Or why don't you well, just pre-record? Pre -record like as soon as we're doing the post show, just go. And eh, that was awesome. <laughs> now let's check out what Philadelphia's doing. Take it away, guys. Well, no, because that was awesome. Cause, let's see what they're doing in Portland. No, well, we've raised. Five hundred dollars. Yeah. Crazy. No, because Michael in broadcast is gonna have to be here for the whole thing too. Well, and I'm not, I'm not. I'm not gonna do that to Michael. He's 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 like the the, the secret heart think of, about it like of extra this. life. He if, can pre-record. If you're bit. not here, he has to put up with you for less time. Of yeah. The Twenty-five hours. All, like what, what we did last year. Like what's worse, being here or being here with Jack? <laughs> <laughs> last year, uh, I think Tyler brought a, uh, a brought, a, brought a, a hammock. And so literally it'd be like, oh, you'd go, you do your five minute bit, like 4 a.m., you do your five minute bit, like, okay, here we go, you guys, good luck. And then I walk over to the hammock, set my alarm for like five till the top of the hour and just go to sleep. <laughs> so you just more like, groggy each time. All right, right. yeah. <laughs> that sounds miserable. So, but we're doing that, we're doing that this weekend, and then uh, next weekend's the, uh, not, so not only that, uh, so that ends at 8 a.m. on Sunday, and then at noon on Sunday, I have to be at MondoCon, like they're doing another MondoCon, I'm hosting a panel at noon. Oh, so I <laughs> literally, you're right. What's the guys. panel about? What? Uh, it's a live draw panel. June requires my attention. Who? Oh, you're my oh, Roomba. You're Roomba. <laughs> June. She, she her again. June is stuck. Uh oh. I don't... <laughs> Help me, Ryan! <laughs> Help me, it Ryan! It's a camera, and he's like, and he's it does. It really does. To see, send you a screenshot of what he got stuck on. And not only it's, I've got two messages. June is stuck. June's bin is full. Oh, you didn't. Oh. It's June. stuck and it's filled. That's empty June. It's just in a sink. That's on. It's just sucking it up. I would feel like the two maybe are related, and I'm gonna find it at home having sucked up a curtain or something. And it's or just like, like ah! they can fully flip themselves over. Oh, yeah. it's like Why in a litter box that? somewhere. Just oh eating, god, I hope not. Ah! Oh god, <laughs> what a nightmare that would be. Ugh. But 
Bop, bop, bop. You guys anyway, to extra stuff? life. It's going to be lots of fun. Yeah. Uh, someone else, uh, someone said, Eric uh, said, uh, the 24 hour stream is for kids who get no breaks from being sick. So that's the whole point of this thing. And that's like a yep. lot of the marathon type things. It's like, yeah. you know, they're sick. They're always going to be sick. So it's like, we, the least we can do is be like, all right, let's go through this yeah. and, and support and, and uh, raise awareness. And they might always, they might not always be sick. But, you know, there's some kids some that are. are in a hospital right now that are just sitting there. So. What mm -hmm. I'm hearing is that you were taking lots of breaks during that, though. I was there the whole time. <laughs> so he is physically there. <laughs> uh, next weekend, though, is going to be Absolutely, on the Rich Dude stream. Make sure you tune in between, like, 5 and 6 a.m. Because that's when people are on their A game. <laughs> they're they're <laughs> on A been game. There for about, sure. like, no. eight hours. And uh, yeah, like so. Th so, I, like this year, this year for the extra life stream, we have like our normal schedule stuff, and I, I'm giving teams like blocks. So it's like RT games, you have a block of time, and then the Who's Line thing, you guys have a block of time. Yep. And then on the side of that, we actually have uh, nine gaming stations set up that I'm putting on a spreadsheet that people will come in and play games for an hour. So like our, our animators, so we'll have nine people playing games for the entire 24 hours, and be able to cut to them at times too. That's awesome. But we're actually gaming the entire time while other stuff's happening. There's something I do want to say about the Who's Line thing too. Uh, we're not doing like any of the musical games really because we're obviously not as good as the oh, people that's oh. people on Who's Line. But when we come out, when we start the um, the block of time that we're out there, we're gonna look at what the donation amount is and we'll pick a stretch goal amount. You know, we think is attainable, and if we hit that, then we'll uh, we'll do a hoedown. Nice. So, <laughs> oh wow. That's gonna be that's the plan. You thinking of Drew Carey to come out or Ryan Styles or Colin Mock? I think the the. I mean, Did no. He tweet us the answer is no, time? but Colin tweets every every yeah. year. If Colin Mockery, if you want to join us next weekend for and actual show life, everyone how busy, it's really done. You're if you want to come to based. Austin, I'll say we'll we'll pay for you to fly out, and put you in a hotel. Probably in Canada, Colin. Right. So no, if you want to do it, that, you're more than welcome to come yeah. out. Jeff says no, we're not doing okay. that. All right. Well, I'll, fi I'll find money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm willing to bet Jeremy would probably pay his personal money I to fly. Absolutely would. Exactly. Absolutely would. So in a heartbeat. Anyway, stay at Jeremy's house, Colin. No, so, don't do that. I don't <laughs> want to scare you off. Let Colin Mockery. <laughs> anyone's out there, friends of Colin Mockery. And also, Zachary Levi, if you want to come out too. And Jared uh, Plecky, if you want to come out too. Hey, you're all welcome. Jared from The somewhere. Rock, come, come on, on out. <laughs> Anybody. Or if you're an Austin, if you're an Austin based person, feel free to come on out. You Sandra, Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock. She's Je around. Jesse James coming we'll just, out. Bring we'll, your chopper. Lance Armstrong. Maybe not together. Not. You can come at different times. Yeah. Okay. Who else is here? Elijah Wood. If Elijah Wood's around, you're welcome to come down. <laughs> I don't know. You're all, you're all welcome. What's We'd happened? love to have you. Just spread the word of extra life. What is this? They, uh... <laughs> oh, the poster. Oh, it came out. <laughs> yeah, they, um... It's... Apparently they released the... They re... Uh, they took... Remaster? They remastered. Yeah, honestly, the one we did last week on the podcast was way better than any of the attempts we got really? inside. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so you guys... You've already said about the shirt, right? Yeah, they just reprinted the shirt on the new nice on shirt. On better right? material. The yeah. nice dynamite shirt is back, and it's on better material now. And so Gavin and Michael recreated the photo, the famous photo, from the store where they're jumping diagonally and they're both penciled in the air. And Michael is, even though he's in the air, is sucking his chin in. <laughs> Which is just... Where did that get posted? Is that on the store now? I don't know. Someone posted it in it's the hashtag. Uh, William D'Angelo posted it. So it's probably on the store they by now. They still got it. Go. <laughs> the store... Dude, and the fucking store put that photo from the subreddit it was like this oh, yeah. the big dude in like a women's small. I forget oh, what shirt that. it was. No, he bought like a women's People double like X, grapes. but it was a female. Oh, but it was cut. a woman's. Yeah, that yeah. was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, so like he was wearing it. It was like so small and they put it in the store. Yeah. He, That's great. I, I find that picture so funny. Yeah. Nice. Such a good sport for posting that. That's great. All right. Let's go play some Call of Duty or that other game that you guys started playing and then have to come do that. Let's finish that. Let's play. And all of that other stuff. But if you're watching, please check out Extra Life this weekend. Uh, the For the Kids pin will be up for sale only this weekend, so if you want to grab it, this is your weekend Post to get it. it. Please do it. Poster's available for sale next get weekend. Get the poster. Gavin. The poster's fucking awesome. But get, the, get the poster, get the shirt, get the pins, it all goes to Rooster uh, Teeth's donation. Mm -hmm. We do not make money off that. All of, all of the proceeds from that go to Rooster Teeth's donation. So please, please, if you can donate, do. If you can't hey, Jeremy, donate, just get sneeze. spread the word. Spread the word. Let people know. <sighs> Thank you. We'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Get the fuck everyone. out. We'll, no, we get out. We, get the fuck out. Don't.